powertrain innovations are leading the charge. Dana, electrification delivered. Learn more at Dana.com. It's the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Here's Paul. Well, it is the uh, the Paul W. Smith Road Show, and it is Friday! Yay! You can say that again. Yay! Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is Friday, March 12th, the 71st day of 2021. There are 294 days left in the year. Make each and every day count. Each day is a gift. We've got the team, the team, the team. There's Marie Osborne. And when I say there, it's because all morning long, we'll be on 760 on the AM dial and on WJR.com, the WJR Facebook page, and virtually everywhere else you can find any of these social media platforms. I think WJR is well represented. As I say, Marie just finished the news, and whenever she comes back and sits down again, we know everything's okay. And when she sits with us in the Paul W. Smith Show, What's Happening Roundtable, Dana Clark will keep an eye on traffic and weather, and uh, today, uh, the movies as well. We'll talk about movies to see or maybe not to see. Uh, in the control room, WJR Control 1, Brian Morton, pressing all the buttons. We are joined by uh, either Curtis or Sean or both this morning with our IT group for the WJR Roadshow. Thanks to the good folks from Toyota. Uh, Toyota, a wonderful uh, sponsor uh, from the beginning of our Paul W. Smith Golf Classic. Uh, they are such good community members, and we salute them for that. And that's they're in our spotlight, the automaker spotlight, Toyota, for our road show today. Uh, we've got uh, my Kim checking in from the southernmost portion of Detroit, and of course our executive producer who I usually see on my left, your right, now is on my right, your right, uh, Ann Thomas, our executive producer, who is uh, mourning the loss of the Spartans. It did not go the way any of us thought it would go. Oh, it was very, very tough, Paul. Yeah. Tough uh, early afternoon yesterday. Wow. They so, came back it, so it well. Tough. I know. They came back so well in the last five, six games. It was an incredible comeback. And, man, they just seemed to hit the wall. Coach was, sounded very tough after the game, too. He, well, he, blamed, he, blamed, he, blamed, he blamed himself. I know. He felt bad. So very tough. Hopefully they're going to get into the NCAA tournament. We'll know more on Sunday night. So. I don't even know how that works. I thought they had to win here to get into the tournament. So, how many games you win over the season? Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. In a weird season, that's for cross. sure. Yes. A weird season. 5 of 42 at WJR. This report is sponsored by Compassion International. For kids in poverty around the world, things are still desperate. Join Compassion International with your one time $40 gift to provide a COVID relief kit to a family in poverty. Text the word GIVE to 83393. That's GIVE to 83393. And we're uh, checking it for you, the WJR Traffic and Weather First and Dana Clark. Traffic first sponsored by Liberty Title, protecting property since 1974. $2 billion a year is lost to cybercrime and identity theft in real estate transactions. Liberty Title ensures and secures your closing dollars, now offering creative closing options to keep you safe, including remote online notarization, curbside, and contactless closings. You have a choice. Choose LibertyTitle.com. Upcoming construction happening tonight at 9 p.m. along 94, both directions, eastbound and westbound between Connor and 75. All lanes will shut down until 5 a.m. on Monday. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Window World. Call Window World at 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW. For your window door or siding project, get 0% financing for 60 months. Window World is America's largest exterior replacement remodeler and a trusted team partner of WJR's Inside Outside Guys. Call 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW or visit windowworlddetroit.com. 
Mix of clouds and sunshine for us today. Breezy and a little cooler. Temperatures into the mid-50s. That's still 10 degrees above average. Fair to partly cloudy skies tonight. Cold 23. It'll be even cooler this weekend. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures a few degrees on either side of 50 both days. From the Weather Channel, I'm Ken Boone on News Talk 760 WJR. 39 degrees and we hit 70 again yesterday. I am betting we're not supposed to hit 70 today. I'm pretty sure we're far from 70 for the day, but we can look forward to that weather coming back again soon, or so I hope. But right now, 39 degrees, and we have uh, wonderful memories of our friend Rush Limbaugh on WJR, and we share one of those memories right now at 540. In 2006, Al Gore released his fright movie, An Inconvenient Truth. He warned that unless we adopted a slew of draconian and expensive measures to reverse global warming, we would face a true planetary emergency in 10 years. Al Gore's movie was mandatory viewing in many schools, and it was pivotal in spreading the global warming hoax. We're still here. The true planetary emergency turned out to be totally fake. Does that matter to other alarmists? Nope, not at all. Last weekend, the famous physicist, Stephen Hawking, smartest man in the world next to Bill Gates, issued his own doomsday scenario, which, like Al Gore's, was all politics and zero science. Professor Hawking claimed that Trump's withdrawal from the Paris Accords pushed the planet toward irreversible global warming. Hawking predicts temperatures on Earth will rival Venus, soaring to 428 degrees. Blaming Trump for the imminent end to human life sounds ridiculous to normal people, but not to those blinded by liberalism. Last month, Professor Hawking accused Trump of being a demagogue. He said that he's afraid he wouldn't be welcome in Trump's America. False and false. Good science relies on evidence, and we get plenty. Doomsday predictions about global warming have been proven wrong. There's not a one of them that's come true. But you always draw the wrong conclusions when you inject liberalism into the equation. Is serious about that. This is it's absurd. Rush Limbaugh, noon to three today, right here on WJR. Yikes. Quoting Stephen Hawking from last week. And, of course, Stephen Hawking has been dead for a while also. Interesting. I guess they're going back pretty far with these uh, little segments that uh, they're using here first thing in the morning. And uh, noon to three as well, they'll have a fill-in guest and then they'll say something that's specific to something that Rush had talked about or championed, and then they'll play a cut that's significant to that uh, on the show. I don't know how long that's going to go. I mean, it's nice to have Rush around. It makes it a little... I think more difficult for the final separation, but we'll see. Maybe Rush will be forever. It is Girl Scout Day. Yay! Mm -hmm. It recognizes and celebrates the Girl Scouts of the USA. The date celebrates the creation of the first Girl Scout group on March 12th in what year? Who can guess close? I don't know the year, but I do know the founder, Juliet Lowe. Juliet Gordon Lowe started the first Girl Scout group in Savannah, Georgia, with 18 mm -hmm. girls. Yep. March 12th. Anybody want to hazard a guess on a year? 27. 1927. Annie, anything? Mm, 1935. Actually, 1912. Mm -hmm. wow. So interestingly enough, chartered by the U.S. Congress uh, in 1950. Marie, were you a Girl Scout? I can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Once a Girl Scout, always a Girl, always a Girl Scout. Yeah, I was too. I was. What about you, Dana? No, I was just an official cookie taster. <laughs> uh, which those. she still is to this day. Right. I was those. a Girl Scout. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, what uh, were there? Bluebirds also. Yes, there were bluebirds. Yeah. Girl Scouts. Okay. Anything else? Uh, brownies. The, there were brownies. Brownies. Brownies, yeah. there brownies. brownies first. Brownies. Mm -hmm. Then, then you go to Girl Scouts. Then you become a Girl Scout, right? And each one had its own uniform, if I recall. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ours were green. Green. Mm -hmm. Green for the Girl Scouts and brown for the brownies. Brownies. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, today is your day, March 12th. It is <laughs> Girl Scout Day. It is also 
uh, National Milky Way Day, as in the candy bar. Hmm. Any of you like the Milky Way candy bar? Mm, I pass mm. on that. Pass. Mm. pass. Just kind of a mm, pass. Mm, passing. Yeah. <laughs> it was created in 1923 by Frank Mars. In the 20s, it came in two flavors, chocolate and vanilla. It was first mass produced, uh, the, it was the first mass produced chocolate bar with a filling. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. We are just uh, talking about today, besides being Girl Scout Day, it's also National Milky Way Day, as in the candy bar. And the name Milky Way was taken from a popular malted milkshake, not from the galaxy. Outside North America, the Milky Way is a completely different candy bar. Oh, wow. I wonder why that would be. In the, the European version of the Milky Way has no caramel topping and low density that is that floats in milk. There was a vanilla flavored Milky Way called Forever Yours until 1979. The first slogan of the Milky Way was, the sweet you can eat between meals. <laughs> the most recent slogan is, life's better in the Milky Way. And so it's still out there, but not one of our group here, including me, would uh, make that our first candy bar of choice. Mm -hmm. That's the nicer way of putting it when everyone's reaction was just kind of. Mm. Well, what would be your first candy bar of choice? Oh, I was afraid you'd ask that. <laughs> Man, I don't I don't have one that jumps out at me. I do. You guys? I do. Mm -hmm. Have a candy bar, a favorite? Reese's. Yeah, what is it? Hen? Yeah. Reese's peanut butter cups. Now, oh, is that a you know candy what? bar? I, I, for whatever reason, I, I don't think of it as a candy bar. I think of it as a necessity to life. Uh, it's a necessity to life. It's not a candy bar. We'll take it, though, Annie. We'll it's, take it all on its own. Yeah. It's, what about you, Dana? Snickers all day, every day. That's See, I think of Snickers, but then I, it's a little too complicated for is me. Is it? Snickers I, is too I, complicated? I'm not a big peanut guy. Oh, okay. I, I'm not. I've never been a big peanut guy. Hmm. Uh, sometimes I feel like a mound. Sometimes <laughs> I don't. Um, no, what about those? Are good too. Marie, do you make your own candy bars? Oh, for God's <laughs> sakes! Yes. If don't you say, say yes, that. did you say yes? yes? No, she better not. I can't hear her, so she, I don't. She's know like, I'm not talking at all. <laughs> she's not yeah. looking at almond us. joy. Is okay. my favorite. If I that's okay. a great candy bar. There's no question. <laughs> that maybe I couldn't think of one because I like so many. I don't know. There but you I go. get it. Palm and joy. Thumbs mm -hmm. up. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Is Marie lower to everyone? Volume a little bit. Yes. To me. No, it is. Okay. Marie's We're just always worried more. about feedback. Does that sound a little better to it you? Does. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, it does sound a little better. It's easier We're to hear you. We're always worried about feedback. So I sometimes I'm a little conservative on uh, that pot there. So I think I, the, I think this would be pretty good. The oh, key yeah. lime pie Kit Kat. Yes. Yeah. We try that. I like anything key lime pie, mm -hmm. so so this is, uh, I, I, it seems to me that, that maybe this had been out before, or I read about it before, but it's now it's making its debut. Key lime pie, just like key lime pie, period, but a key lime pie Kit Kat sounds more intriguing to me than just the regular uh, Kit Kat. Did you see the story in the news uh, yesterday about the Warren uh, man who sets up a little tent, I, I'll cry if I tell the whole story, sets up a little tent just outside the nursing home his wife is in that he's been married yep. to for 60 years. Yep. So we yep. can sit out there in the elements yep. and be I there with her. I think his son helped him set that up, right, His Paul? son set up a platform so they can oh. be at eye level. Eye level, okay. And then he has this uh, tent, and when they were setting it up, when they did the story in the last two days, it was very windy. Mm -hmm. And it was hard, but he got his tent up. Yeah. And he sits there and he talks to her. And oftentimes she's just not communicative mm -hmm. because she has, I think, Alzheimer's. Yes, and Alzheimer's. it was just very touching. Well, 
It was a beautiful story. And again, Paul, she does have Alzheimer's. So, you know, the heartfelt love, I mean, the love between these two was just, I, I'm with you. It was very hard to watch that without getting tears in your eyes. I also want to note that he was wearing a beautiful Carhartt hat. And I thought, yes, you know, boy, Carhartt should really reach out to this guy and outfit him. And Carhartt should know. outfit him for the element oh, yeah. for the rest yeah. of his life. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. a great, uh, we should uh, get beautiful. a hold of Gretchen Valade and say, Gretchen, this guy is a walking billboard for you. Mm -hmm. He's proudly mm -hmm. wearing his Carhartt hat. Yeah. So that was a very touching story. Anybody else see anything that they want to make sure they bring up today? I don't know about this Netflix situation, but somebody, some people are going to be in trouble, including I us. It, I don't even know what it is. What's the situation? They're people, cracking down on the passwords. You know right. how, like, I can give you my password, you log in, and then oh. you have Netflix, and then, like, Noel in New York has Netflix. Right. Well, I <laughs> didn't, the I, same situation. I didn't know anything about that. So yeah. Uh, yeah. people pass along their passwords. Of well, course. I, mean, so I, can, I, I don't blame them for saying, you know, <laughs> by the way, we're in business True. selling selling yeah. membership or whatever they call that. Yeah, we've had a good for a while. <laughs> <laughs> a good <laughs> run. <laughs> yeah, had a good, a good run stealing Netflix. Right. But it's actually interesting because for those of us with young adults, Right. The We're young paying adult, anyway. I bet our kids are doing that and I'm just not even aware exactly. of it. Exactly. So so yeah. with you know, for years, the young adults, when they were teenagers and in college, they lived in the household. Mm -hmm. And so it was fine. But now what Netflix is doing is saying, if you're out of the household, you have to get your own account. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, to be brutally honest, my young adults are still on my account. Because yep. you really don't oh. think about it. Once right. you log in, you're you're in there, you, yeah, you click the button. Uh-oh, all is reporting us. <laughs> what is my uh, reward? Reporting. What is my reward for dropping a dime on my producer? Yes, she just Free confirmed Netflix? That her kids okay, Anne, are stealing Netflix. Yeah. How much is it? you of your Girl Scout status, Anne. Right. I know, I've lost my <laughs> but the, the industry says it's $9 billion a year they are mm -hmm. losing through this, this mm -hmm. sharing wow. of these passwords. It's starting to sound like real money. Oh, gosh, yeah. <laughs> a lot so of they potatoes. don't like that. They a don't lot like of that. Potatoes. Nine billion bucks. Well, you know, hmm. They allowed it to happen, obviously, yeah. for a long time. Yes, yes they did. I mean, how they didn't figure that out is kind of a how many could, how many could you have? You could have four, I think like six. Maybe. Oh, was it six? So not you could. Four, so they didn't allow it, Paul. You're right. I mean, it was not something. No question that and maybe they felt they needed to while they were starting mm -hmm. out, and they wanted to yeah. be nice about it. But now they're saying, you know, it's time for us all to pay to have our Netflix. Yeah. Exactly. How much is Netflix a month now? I think it's twelve ninety nine now. Slowly but surely creeping yes, up. Yes, engine up. One raise the basic one is twelve ninety nine. But it's a but it's a pretty it's a pretty good bargain though. Oh, it is. I mean, oh, there's a lot of great programming. Yeah, a year or so. Like I've watched all of Netflix. What would we have done if we didn't have Netflix? There, there'd be no exactly. Tiger King. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, mean, I mean, we're yeah, talking important it. stuff. Or the crown. Uh, How about the crown? And the crown. Right? And uh, what the, the chess thing. What was that called? The Queen's Queen Gambit. Gambit. Queen's mm -hmm. Gambit. 557 at WJR. This report is sponsored by Compassion International. For kids in poverty around the world, things are still desperate. Join Compassion International with your one-time $40 gift to provide a COVID relief kit to a family in poverty. Text the word GIVE to 83393. That's GIVE to 83393. See, these are the things I don't know, but Kim has just uh, verified all of our kids have been using <laughs> our Netflix account for years. See? Hello, <laughs> officer. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm in hey, trouble. Somebody. I'm in big trouble. Here we go. Our WJR traffic and weather first, Miss Dana Clark. Traffic first sponsored by shelving.com. Shelving.com can help you save money and prevent workplace accidents with its free 10 point warehouse safety inspections. They offer in person and virtual options. Schedule your free inspection today on shelving.com. Shelving.com, we rack your world. 94, both directions. This is construction. That's going to kick off at 9 p.m. tonight, both directions uh, between Connor and 75. 
that uh, all lanes will close there 9 p.m. once again until 5 a.m. on Monday. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by North Bloomfield Properties. If you're looking for a place to call home, let North Bloomfield Properties find the best place for you and your family. They also provide pre-screened quality tenants to their property owners. They love to match good people to good homes. Contact them today northbloomfield.com. We are expecting a, a nice kickoff to the weekend. I don't know. Did anybody else see rain yesterday? I, I saw not a drop of rain. I didn't so. see rain. I didn't see rain. It was supposed to come no in rain. the evening. Okay. No. Yeah, so today, sun and clouds. No rain expected. A high of 56 tonight, partly cloudy, low 24. For the weekend, beautiful sunshine on Saturday, high of 50. And sun and clouds mixed on Sunday, high of 49. Clear skies, 40 degrees. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Marie Osborne in one minute. Paul, I have another cause for you. <laughs> so if if they're going to make us pay for the kids, mm -hmm. why don't they, they shouldn't, it, uh, one of our, I think it's Mark, Mark here, one of our viewers says it's actually $13.99. Yeah. So oh. wouldn't it be okay. nice if, you had like a main account like us yeah. and then give the kids a deal mm -hmm. off of your, you know, like a, I don't know, $5, yeah. $6. I mean, cause otherwise I bet they lose a lot. Cause some of these kids aren't going to pay that. Right. right. And true. Yeah, so, but, but, the, but Netflix, as Jerry yeah. points out, would not be able to monitor that very well. Yeah. You know, oh, that'd yeah. be a, a monumental task saying, well, my, my son in California and my daughter in Colorado and my, you know, yeah. And when you say some of the kids aren't going to pay that, that's no skin off. Right. Uh, Netflix is going to still have us, mm -hmm. the parents who've been the feeders. That's mm -hmm. true. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to quit Netflix just because my kids can't get it. I'll probably right. find it. It'll be snuck into one of the bills we pay for them anyway. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> exactly. Well, and the, and the kids love Netflix. So they're oh, going yeah. to probably pay yeah, yeah. mama val you about to be cut off just warning you <laughs> oh man that's brutal uh, yeah <laughs> rained in highland in the morning yesterday according to jane tarbett rained in highland uh, hmm. we, we didn't see it didn't cheryl see said 8.99 for basic netflix oh okay i guess it, it's levels depends on and good old uh, good old uh, don kruger says what is it what don I, I, I don't he know if that's what Netflix about is. or not. I don't know if that's what, you know, I can't. He might I, be teasing us. He, he might be. We said it. We talked about a lot of different things, so I don't know here. No, it seems like all these folks are. Uh, uh, Nicole, M. Nicole Wilson says, hilarious because I've been sharing my password <laughs> since college. <laughs> Let's see. 10 years plus. Good for yeah. you, Nicole. M. Nicole. Hmm. I think uh, the way it worked in my house is somebody came in here. I think it might have been my son Brian who set it up for me. Right. Who helped me. And then of course I was just soon here, Mom, let me out. set you up with Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> and here's your password yeah. and your login. Now don't worry, I'll keep track of your password. If you ever change this, let me know so I can keep track right. of this for you. Exactly. <laughs> when we were talking about candy bars, uh, Mark Gardner said the thousand dollar bar is good. Wasn't there a million dollar bar? Yeah. Yes. I, I remember the know. million dollar bar, but not yeah. the thousand dollar bar. But I, I don't know. Uh, hello from Cairo, Michigan. Uh, Aero bars are the best. I'm not sure. I remember the Aero bar. Anybody? No. A R O Aero bar. Mm -mm. Almond Joy is great. Three Musketeer, Payday. Payday was a mm -hmm. good one. Good. That, that's Payday a lot of nuts. It had a yeah. good run, but it was a lot of peanuts that were yeah, my much. thing. I did like the uh, stuff inside there, though, whatever it might have been. Caramel, whatever, mm -hmm. salt. Yeah, yeah. Milky Nougat. Way. What's your Girl call Scout it? cookies, yeah. What's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? Oh, wow. Um, Thin mints. <laughs> tag along. Right. I know my answer right, right away. Yeah. Tag along. Tag -alongs. Oh, it was a hundred thousand dollar bar, oh. not million dollar bar. <laughs> uh, and mm -hmm. Lori says, "What you call it is mm -hmm. the bomb." Mm. So, all right. Oh, so, uh, so tag alongs uh, and um, thin mint. Mm -hmm. Paul, what's your favorite cookie, Girl Scout? Man, I I'm gonna say thin mint. Really? You know. Mm -hmm. I, I can't. I can't say for sure. Thin mint, 
Um, what about tag along? The short, the shortbread, the little shortbread. Yeah, bread. those are good too. Yeah, those were tasty, but I can't remember what they were called. Shortbread. No, well, that would be <laughs> <laughs> that would make the most sense, but uh, I couldn't uh, remember. Samoas, uh, people like too. Stephanie. Oh, said, yeah, Samoas. Yeah, yeah, that Samoas. was a big one. Yeah, Samoa was a big one. That's the one with the coconut and chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. Somebody spotted, uh, and uh, there's a picture. I don't know if I. I think I printed the picture. Uh, very unusual. Didn't know they existed. I still love. I just saw a blue jay in our backyard, mm, did you? and, and uh, I think I saw a cardinal. And the color, uh, Mother Nature's uh, or God's or both color, is so vivid. So when someone spotted a yellow cardinal, ooh, that's beautiful, pretty. Where was that? I don't know, but I I do know. It's very very rare. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cardinals usually associated with yeah, boom, boom, boom. a couple in Illinois mm -hmm. said they have a yellow cardinal hanging out in their backyard. Mm -hmm. And there's a professor who says uh, studies of feather pigmentation. He receives photos of the yellow cardinal from Illinois and confirmed that it's a male cardinal with rare yellow pigmentation. He was asked to verify the bird by the Chicago Tribune, which reported on the recurring spectacle in Rushville earlier this week. Mm. So, uh, hmm. Paul Maria says your shortbread is called trifoils. Oh, trifoils. yeah. Uh, trifoils, trifoils, that's it. Yeah. yeah. So, so they aren't called shortbread. <laughs> no. Thank goodness. Hey, what, are those short, what are those shortbread cookies called? <laughs> shortbread. Uh, and Maria just very nicely says trifoils. Yes. Thank you, Maria, for. Yes making me know for sure I didn't lose my mind. Um, I saw a couple of donut stories. Um, you must be hungrily do print the internet, don't you? Yeah. I, I do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, if the Andy internet ever breaks down, I'm going to be rich if the internet breaks down because yeah. people have to come to me for the internet because mm -hmm. um, I printed it all. Krispy <laughs> Kreme has four new St. Patrick's Day donuts. Oh, do tell. And is bringing back green Glazed donuts. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Yeah, give that a try. That's pretty. Would, yeah, it's pretty. They are pretty. They are pretty. And we know that they're pretty doggone tasty. Yes. So they're happy St. Patrick's Day. Hey, we are having our St. Patrick's Day party. Everybody's invited uh, coming up this Wednesday, uh, March 17th. And it'll all be the same way we're doing today's whole show in honor of uh, our automaker spotlight, Toyota, the Paul W. Smith Roadshow here on WJR. We will be online. Uh, we're just going 5.30 to 9. Yes. On this St. Patrick's Day, we, we, when we have the live party, we go till 10. Mm. But uh, doing it virtually, we'll just go till 9. But we'll have a regular mix of, uh, of people that will come by that we will be uh, entertaining, interviewing on the show. We'll have music. The, what is it? The Popes? What are they called? The Corktown Popes. Corktown Popes will be our music, and they do a nice job, and we'll have a lot of fun. So you're invited to join us uh, coming up on this St. Patrick's Day. And I think we have I think we have till 9 o'clock this morning to call in and try to get a mug. Is that right, Ann? That's right, Deb, yeah. I thought I saw that as the, as the message on this, uh, this uh, promo here. Get your Paul W. Smith St. Patrick Souvenir coffee mug till 9 o'clock this morning. I'll read the whole thing in just a moment, but enter for yours today at WJR.com. WJR.com. And, and Ann is working on, uh, working on getting a Paul a mug. It's the WJR Roadshow with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota. Hear you yet. This stop on the Roadshow is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone. Continental Structural Plastics and Lear. Here's Paul. Good Friday morning to you. It is the 12th of March, the 71st day of 2021. There are 294 days left in the year. Make each and every day count. Each day is a gift. And at 6.08, we've got the team, the team, the team together. Marie Osborne just finished the news and is back with us. Dana Clark, ready to do traffic and weather and some movies today with Movie Show Plus with Greg Russell. 
we've got uh, Brian Morton in the control room, WJR Control One, running all of the switches. Uh, Mike Kim backing me up with uh, information like being Girl Scout Day and the Kit Kat, Key Lime Kit Kats and little things like that and holding us all together. And uh, the mom of the show is, of course, Ann Thomas, our executive producer. Good morning, Ann. Good morning, Dub. Happy Friday. Uh, and happy Friday to you. Before we were coming on the air, I, maybe we were on uh, line already, but I don't know. Before coming on the air, Dana said, I'm so sorry for your loss, Ann. And I went, what? <laughs> <laughs> what did I miss? What happened? It, what, is everybody okay? And then I find out she was talking about the basketball game. I mean, not that that's not a big deal, but I just I didn't yeah. think of it as a thing you give condolences for. But you know, <laughs> yeah, it, it was dramatic. It was, uh, it was <laughs> after this wonderful comeback season. I know. Yes. Yes. And, uh, and I felt bad watching uh, Coach Tom Izzo take the hit. I mean, he said, uh, I don't say this all the time, but I'm saying it now. This one's on me. And I'm not sure what he meant. Do you know what he meant? By that and well at one point in the game he got really angry with a call and then he ended up getting a, a technical mm -hmm. called on him oh so he did that, yes so so he kind of for lack of a better explanation he just kind of lost it and got really angry and so i think he's kind of blaming himself for that was it a bad call i i, I, I it was a bad call yes it was a really bad call I had it, but my, um, my assistant here, the barrister, <laughs> if he was awake, he could describe it for you in very great detail. And well, this might be one of the times we have to wake him up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he, I heard about it all afternoon, actually. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Did it affect the game, Annie? It must, it, it must have done something, you know, kind of like okay. how sometimes a call or yeah. Changes a bad everything. play can change everything. So it mm -hmm. played a role in it. But, you know, mm -hmm. the Spartans are, they've been a tough team this year. Mm -hmm. Tom Izzo's had his hands full. This team, one minute, is doing extremely well, and then the next time, you know, you turn mm -hmm. around and they're struggling. So yeah, it'll be very interesting uh, to see how they do if they get into the NCAA March Madness. I, I think they will. I just have a feeling. I hope. But it's been a tough year for them. I didn't. I I didn't get to see it, and uh, I'm sorry that they lost. Uh, that was that's a that's after such a comeback, you know. It was, uh, and Frank and I were talking about the game. He was doing his betting thing on FanDuel, and it didn't sound like he was going to bet on the Spartans to win. And I said, "Well, geez, Frank, they've been they've had a magical comeback." Well, he if he didn't do it, he, he's glad obviously because they didn't win. Sadly, right. and Maryland has their number. They lost to Maryland last time around too. So. Anybody uh, watch the uh, president last night? I did. I did too. I did. I did. What'd you guys think? I thought he did a great job. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I thought he's he very did calming. A job. Yes. A good tone. And saying we're in this together. We can do this. We got this. So for you guys, he said exactly what you wanted to hear. So that made you feel I thought good. Thought he was comforting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was very oh, calming. The tone that was spot on. He had the right tone. Yeah. All right. Um, there are some people who agree. Some people disagree. I brought it up because somebody didn't like it last night. Jeffrey uh, weighing in saying the speech was disingenuous at best mm. and boring as watching paint dry. Mm. I heard the uh, the all night guys. They were uh, uh, disparaging about it. I, I just withhold uh, comments. I let him give his speech and I thought he gave a, a he's very low key. I, mm -hmm. I, I'm concerned about his low keyness, not being low key because he's choosing to set a certain tone. I think that's just the way he is right now. He's very, uh, he's very low key. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, well, so I don't know how another way to put it, but anyway, um, it's, it's, unusual. When I first looked it up, they said it was going to be about 15 minutes. And I don't remember, you know, in the old days in radio, our morning show on WJR was 15 minutes long. Mm. Did you know that? Can you imagine having a show? You come to work, you work hard <laughs> all day, and you do a 15 minute show and then you're done. Mm -mm. Actually, I'm starting to think that might not be a bad <laughs> idea. But anyway, um, so when I read that he was doing a 15 minute speech, I went, what? 
but it went half an hour. Good, about a half an hour. Yes, I, was I didn't. I didn't time it, but it was longer than fifteen minutes. It is uh, six thirteen on News Talk seven sixty W Dare. We're staying on Facebook W Dare's Facebook page, YouTube. Every which way, WJR.com. All morning long, it's our WJR Paul W. Smith Show Road Show. And in the spotlight today, our good friends at Toyota. This report is sponsored by Compassion International. For kids in poverty around the world, things are still desperate. Join Compassion International with your one-time $40 gift to provide a COVID relief kit to a family in poverty. Text the word GIVE to 83393. That's give to 83393. And we've got our WJR traffic and weather first, and we've got Dana Clark. And all we have out there, Paul W., right now is construction uh, happening tonight at 9 p.m., 94, both directions eastbound and westbound between Connor and 75. All lanes will shut down until 5 a.m. on Monday. Now, WJR weather first from the Weather Channel. Breezy and cooler out there today, although temperatures are still above average. Mix of clouds and sun. Mid-50s this afternoon. Clear skies overnight tonight. Cold all the way down into a little bit. 20s. Sunny and cooler right around 50 Saturday and Sunday. From the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ken Boone on Newstalk 760 WJR. Don't miss the Trading Group Show, Saturdays at 6 p.m. on WJR. Learn how you can earn a full-time income working from home as a trader. That's the Trading Group Show, Saturdays at 6 p.m. The question line is 888-646-8787. From the advanced composites in the roof of an iconic off-road vehicle to the toughest pickup truck box available, a next-generation electric vehicle battery case or the complete body of a world-class performance car, Continental Structural Plastics is going beyond expectations to reduce vehicle weight, improve performance, and enhance design flexibility. Infinite possibilities, powered by science, brought to you by Continental Structural Plastics, a Tajin Group company. Learn more at cspplastics.com. Did you know close to 41% of Americans continue to work remotely? As many of us are working from home, the need for an office or expanded living space becomes a necessity. Well, at Motor City Floors and Coatings, they make your basement or garage concrete floor usable. I've seen the results of the Motor City Floors and Coatings' own innovative concrete coating system, and it is their own innovative system. They are the scientists that created it. It's four times stronger, they say, than epoxy, making it more durable and longer lasting, and usually can be installed in just a day. They also can help your business with their industrial concrete polishing system. They can polish your industrial floor, making your business operate more efficient and keeping your employees safe. When looking to create that expanded living space in your basement and garage or to update your industrial business's concrete floor, call Motor City Floors and Coatings, 248-613-5888. That's 248-613-5888. Or visit MotorCityFloorsAndCoatings.com. It is 616 at 760 WJR. Hi, I'm Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle. If you're a Macomb County resident age 60 and over and are looking to get the COVID-19 vaccine. I'll just be backstage if you need me, holler. All right, well, we're going to a tape here. Yeah, so we're in good shape. I'd be back. Okay, dokie. Years of age and over or know someone who is, please call 586-421-421. 6579 or simply visit macombgov.org. The market is constantly changing. The Marketplace Minute keeps you up to date one minute at a time before your morning exercise. Alexa, play Marketplace Minute. All operators file for bankruptcy while organizing your receipts. Hey Siri, play Marketplace Minute. Says it's been spending more on hiring during orders. your afternoon snack. Hey Google, play the Marketplace Minute. Upward swings in indices in Europe and Asia. The Marketplace Minute, a podcast and smart speaker briefing updated three times daily. Ask your smart speaker to play the Marketplace Minute. Listen on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your shows. Every year, Exalta releases a new mobility color. And here to announce the 2021 Global Automotive Color of the Year is Exalta's Global Color Manager, Nancy Lockhart. 
Exalta's 2021 Color of the Year is Electrolyte, a refreshing green-yellow hue with bold contemporary elements that bring style and functionality to life. The color is soothing and calm with an opaque simplicity, yet exciting and fresh with its vibrancy. Visit exalta.com slash color for more information. Exalta Coding Systems, inventors of your favorite color. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota, this stop on the road show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. I have to say, Lauren Stovo is uh, the business lead and legacy preserver of Hot Sam's. And we spoke almost a year ago, and I thought it was a pretzel place. But Lauren, I know now for a fact you are not a pretzel place. But it's a good name for a pretzel place, Hot Sam's, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> it is. I, I think it is one. It, it, it's just not us. <laughs> how did you, <laughs> how did you uh, choose Hot Sam's for uh, a great uh, clothing store, a legacy clothing store? Yeah, well, uh, you know, that name, Paul, was by the original owner, Sam Friedman and the Friedman family. And so it was a joke that the prices on the clothing um, back in 1921, again, which is when the store was founded by Sam Friedman, that the prices were so good, so affordable, that the goods, the clothing must have been stolen. So they, it was hot. They thought it was hot. <laughs> um, and so hot Sam's. And so that name has, has been with the store since 1921. That's the, that's the story behind it. Well, that's a good story. And by the <laughs> way, then that means uh, you're coming up on your 100th anniversary. That is true. This year, uh, the year 2021, is our centennial year of Hot Sam uh, being in the city of Detroit. Yes. And a little birdie told me, because I get most of my information from little birdies, that you will actually mark the official centennial on March 18th. That's correct. Yep. March 18th is the official centennial year um, of Hot Sam's. And so uh, I am the daughter of one of the, the current owners. His name is Tony Stovall. The other owner is Cliff Green. And so um, I, I, I go around uh, speaking with people like you, Paul, kind of sharing the story of the store. I think what is so unique um, that we are 100 years this year, we are still the oldest men's clothing store in downtown Detroit. And I just love to tell, tell our story, uh, a story um, that talks about uh, perseverance. You know, when you mark 100 years, you've been through some things, even unto today. We, we're, so we've survived something and we're trying to figure out, um, you know, how to thrive yet again, coming off of this or, or still in the middle of this COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, but we're here nevertheless celebrating uh, our 100th year. Not quite how we had planned it, but sure. we're still here. We're grateful to be here. It's yeah. not like, like any of us planned it this past year. That's no. for sure, Lauren. <laughs> Uh, and Hat yeah. Sam's uh, persevering, uh, surviving, and thriving over yeah. this 100 years. You have definitely stood the test of time and weathered yeah. many storms. This might be one of the worst ever, but you've shown resilience. Right. You've shown perseverance. You are tenacious. And so all of that <laughs> said, how are you going to celebrate your 100th anniversary on uh, March 18th? I know it's still baby steps. I mean, I, I had so many grand plans, uh, you know, a couple years ago of what we would do uh, this year. And honestly, even right now, the plans are still unraveling. Uh, what I know for a fact, Paul, is that we will celebrate uh, throughout the entire year. We'll do some small activations uh, within the store. We also have something big, though, planned uh, later in the summer that will uh, hopefully involve a lot of other small businesses. Um, so we're taking it day by day, but we will celebrate. Um, actually, we are being, uh, uh, by the Detroit City Council, they're presenting Hot Sam's with its own official day, which is, is really kind of special. So yeah. March 18th will be Hot Sam's Day uh, within the city of Detroit. So the Detroit City Council is presenting that actually a little later today. Well, that's fabulous. Hot Sam's nice. Day. You've, oh, you've, March earned, 18th, yeah. you've earned this. <laughs> I think it's special. I think it is very special. It's nice. And, and what we plan to do with that day is just use it not just as a day to recognize Hot Sam, but really all of the small businesses within the city of Detroit who have, again, survived and, and have um, 
weathered many storms, like you said, and have been persevered, uh, have persevered and, and are tenacious and just a great feat of small businesses. So it'll be not just for us, but all small businesses in the city of Detroit. Well, it's uh, it's great, uh, Hot Sam's. And here's the important thing that unfortunately is lost on mm-hmm. a whole generation of shoppers. We're talking mm. about Hot Sam's, downtown Detroit. We're talking about a one-stop shop for everything yeah. men's fashion and something. Here's a word. Don't be shocked by it. Service. You offer mm. service. People don't just walk in like some of these places that they're shopping now and, you know, get pointed in the direction where there's a rack of 5,000 suits all looking the same. You offer Mm -hmm. very special products with very special service. And once you become a customer of Hot Sam's, you keep track of what they buy, what they like, Mm -hmm. so that the next time you come in, you got a leg up on everybody else because you can actually help people get what they want. You know exactly what they want and how they want it. That's so true. That's that's You said it better than me, Paul. <laughs> um, I, I really do think that's true. I think that's a testament to the legacy of Hot Sam's is that heart of servitude. At the core of our business, we believe that we are here to serve the community. And so I believe we do that once the customer steps in the door, even beyond the door. Um, but I think once you come in, in the doors of the store, you feel like you're at home. You know, you're, you're greeted like your family already. And so that does keep, it's a, it is a special service um, that, that people feel. And it's a special, um, we, we say it's like a cheers, you know, where, where everybody knows your name. And you instantly become just, just like family. And we're now serving legacies of, um, you know, generations of family. Sure, So from sure. grandfathers to grandsons, you know, people got their first prom suit. We're doing a lot of weddings, Paul. Uh, people are still getting married, okay, amid this <laughs> pandemic. And so we, we've done a lot of weddings, you know, so the groom, the groomsmen, the, uh, what's the little boy <laughs> in the wedding? <laughs> I forget. Uh, ring, the, would uh, he be the ring bearer? I yeah, don't know. Like the There's a bearer. flower girl, the ring bearer. I, you know, I right. should know this. Ring, well, that, ring, that, that, that's very yeah. funny, That, uh, it, but I love the legacy idea. I love the idea of mm-hmm. a grandpa bringing in his grandson, a father bringing yeah. in his son, uh, yeah. whatever it might be. It is a mm-hmm. rite of passage when you get your first good yeah. clothing and you learn something. I mentioned service. The other word that's extremely important with Hot Sam's and has been now for 100 years this month, and that is... Mm-hmm tailoring proper Mm. tailoring proper tailoring can take a bad garment and make it look great the the difference here at hot sam's is Mm -hmm. you've got great garments beautifully tailored that's a winning combination it's a win-win and and so our tailor shop thank you for mentioning that is for uh women and men um so that's the way that we do have um you know service for for the ladies as well so um, and, and it's great. You could take an old garment even and kind of revive it. Tailoring is so important, you know, to uh, to the it gives you that personal touch. You know, it makes you feel like like it was custom made, you know, for you. 100th anniversary this year. You'll celebrate it all year, of course, starting in, yeah. in uh, 1921. Now it's 2021. And it's a great time to get out and get in to Hot Sam's. 127 Monroe Street at Monroe and Randolph. Go online at hotsamsdetroit.com and celebrate their 100th anniversary with them. Lauren Stovall, you've done a nice job. Thanks so much and happy anniversary. Thank you, Paul. We appreciate it. Thank you. As we continue on the Paul W. Smith Show at WJR. This report is sponsored by the Ad Council. Attention thrifters, those awesome finds you get at Goodwill are even awesomer than you realize. Because as a nonprofit, Goodwill uses your purchases to fund job training and more in our neighborhoods. Learn more at Goodwill.org. Sponsored by the Ad Council. And at 627, we're going to check it right here, right now, our WJR Traffic and Weather First and Dana Clark. Still nice and quiet out there, Paul W. The Friday drive off to a great start. No reported accidents, no delays. Heads up on construction tonight at 9 p.m. All lanes will shut down. This is in Detroit, 94 both directions. Between Connor and 75, those lanes are scheduled to reopen 5 a.m. on Monday. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Shelving.com. Shelving.com can help you save money and prevent workplace accidents. 
With its free 10-point warehouse safety inspections, they offer in-person and virtual options. Schedule your free inspection today on shelving.com. Shelving.com, we rack your world. Off to a great weekend today, starting with clear skies, 40 degrees, feels great outside. This morning, sunshine, few afternoon clouds, about 10 degrees uh, above average, a high of 56 today. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 24. The weekend looks great as well. Lots of sunshine on Saturday, hitting 50. More sun and clouds mixed on Sunday, 49. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Marie Osborne in two minutes. With a lineage of proven performance, a collaborative approach, and strategic locations across the globe, Aria is crafting the newest signs of automotive acoustic and textile solutions. From acoustic products that reduce cabin noise to a wide range of flooring and other interior solutions that provide luxury, durability, and comfort, Aria is creating the next wave of automotive innovation. To find out more, visit ariasolutions.com. Have an authentic Irish experience this St. Patrick's Day with Wrigley's famous Eastern Market Corned Beef. Located in the heart of Eastern Market, Wrigley's Corned Beef has been a Detroit tradition since 1924. Call 888 Wrigley's today or visit Wrigley's.com. Lear, a global automotive technology leader in seating and e-systems, has a reputation for identifying industry trends and acting on them. As the industry continues to transform, Lear faces the future of the vehicle with an even bolder vision. One that is connected, electrified, and sustainable. And one that enables them to make every product, every experience, and every drive better than the one that came before it. Lear, making every drive better. To learn more, visit Lear.com. Know your risk factor for heart attack and stroke. Tune in Sundays at 3 to News Talk 760 WJR to hear about the latest diagnostic technology from Dr. Brian Collender. President Biden making his first primetime address to the nation as commander in chief Thursday evening, weighing in on the nearly two trillion dollar COVID relief package that was passed and signed into law this week. He says help is on the way for those Americans who are struggling with the coronavirus pandemic. It extends unemployment benefits. It helps small businesses, it lowers health care premiums for many, it provides food and nutrition, keeps families in their homes. And it will cut child poverty in this country in half, according to the experts. And Republicans are saying that the bill does not do a good job of targeting the money to people who need it and that it has little to do with actual COVID relief. Macomb County Prosecutor Pete Lacido forming a special panel where families who lost loved ones in nursing homes in Michigan can get more information about their deaths. Lacido wants to gather any and all information about building a case against the governor at a press conference. He cited some of the reasons why. Executive Order 2020-50 says... You shall take a COVID patient. Not maybe, not probably, but shall. About a third of all the COVID deaths in Michigan occurred in nursing homes and long-term care facilities. Security in Minneapolis tight for the foreseeable future. Only days into the trial of the former city cop charged with George Floyd's death. Minneapolis Police Chief Madera Arredondo says so far demonstrations have been peaceful surrounding former officer Derek Chauvin's murder trial. I want to remind our communities that while we certainly have a focus and an attention in terms of the safety of the trial, the city of Minneapolis, our regular 911 operational response and patrols in our residents uh, also maintains and is there. It's part of the city's four phases of Operation Safety Net involving multiple local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies. Though this just one week into jury selection with potential jurors already saying they fear for their safety in a trial that will last through April. Jeff Manasso. Fox News. Jury trials set to resume this month in Oakland County Circuit Court nearly a year after the Michigan Supreme Court halted them through the state and issued other restrictive orders for courts in response to the pandemic. Court officials working in conjunction with the county health division and others to plan to outfit eight courtrooms with plexiglass barriers and distancing stickers on floors and seating. One of the biggest snowstorms in years, maybe even decades, is forecast to blast the Denver metro area with several feet of snow this weekend. The storm should be a long duration event from today all the way through Sunday, and that could result in snowfall totals nearly two feet 
in Denver and piling as high as three feet in places west of Denver. Heavy snow will stretch north into Wyoming and Nebraska. There, five feet could be possible. Forecasters are using words like blockbuster blizzard and shocking to describe this weather event. Parts of the regions expecting snow or enjoying 70 degree days this week. And the days of using someone's password for Netflix might be numbered. The streaming giant testing a new feature that'll select customers to crack down on password sharing. Netflix in a foot race with Disney Plus, HBO Max, and Hulu as streaming has exploded during the pandemic. Netflix has 200 million sur- subscribers. Checking the world markets this hour. The Asian markets closed mixed. London is down. The futures are down. For WJR News, I'm Marie Osborne. Back to Paul W. Smith in two minutes. Talking with Michelle Wildman from the MEDC. And Michelle, tell us a little bit about the MEDC. The MEDC is the lead agency responsible for marketing Michigan and supporting vibrant, diverse, and sustainable communities. We're made up of a group of talented individuals who care about the state and are passionate about the state's economic potential. We're committed to investing in our communities to grow jobs and create vibrant places to live while aiming to provide equitable economic opportunity for all Michiganders. Tell us about the Redevelopment Ready Communities Program. Well, the Redevelopment Ready Communities Program is a set of best practices that communities can use for planning. Um, RRC can act as a pipeline for the Michigan Main Street candidates by identifying communities that are poised for downtown place management best practices and could benefit from the additional support that the Michigan Main Street can provide. That formal recognition that a community has a vision for the future and the fundamental practices are in place that make it right for future development. Michelle, what kind of support can the MEDC give to local communities to support their vision of a reality? One of the exciting programs that we have is called the Public Spaces for Community Places Crowdfunding Initiative to democratize public funding, making it accessible for everyone and encouraging members of each community to play a part in securing that funding to help improve their shared quality of life. Learn more about the MEDC. Go to miplace.org and hear this entire interview with Michelle at wjr.com slash MEDC. Hi, it's Paul W. Smith. I'm so excited to bring you my 35th St. Patrick's Day celebration. Paul W. Smith's 2021 virtual St. Patrick's Day celebration on WJR. Presented by Wine Guards, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, and by Abso Pure Bottled Water and Coffee Services. With music by the Corktown Popes. Join me Wednesday morning where the movers, shakers, and newsmakers gather for another year of virtual breakfast, beats, and blarney. Paul W. Smith's 2021 virtual St. Patrick's Day celebration Wednesday morning on News Talk 760 WJR. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. On this uh, Friday morning, and uh, I, I'm telling you, Marie, I am, uh, I'm already feeling tired from the time change. I don't know why this is, but my body does this in advance of things like this. And it's also in advance of our conversation at 648 with Dr. James Rowley, medical director of the Sleep Disorder Center at DMC, Detroit Receiving Hospital, because we're going to talk about uh, daylight savings time and how it's going to affect our health and our sleep patterns, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm just extra tired today. I think that's the case for a lot of people, but you know, the sun for us has been getting up earlier, you know, it's been rising earlier. So, I mean, I'm looking out my window right now and the sun is already up happily. So, well, not the sun, but you know, it's day. I was going to say, where the heck are you sun. living? No, no, not the sun, <laughs> daylight. I should say daylight. Daylight, right. I so, like daylight coming up early, yeah. But I was wondering, when you talk to the doctor, something that always puzzles me about this time change, and, you know, I feel the way you do. I'm just nervous about it, and I'm just like, oh, I'm dreading this and all that other stuff. But I Lose wonder, an hour. Yeah, that, especially with the, our hours that we keep yeah. doing this job, right? Right, right. So I just wondered with the doctor, I mean, there's a lot of times when we stay out at extra late or we're doing, you know, we stay up extra late and, you know, okay, we might pay for it for a day or, you know, whatever. But 
this just seems to linger for a, like a week, if not two weeks, this loss of this one hour. Why is that? It is, is it in our head or is there something going on with our serotonin? I don't know. I bet it's, I bet it's all of that. I bet it's, I bet it is psychological and physical. There are physical reasons for it and, uh, and psychological for me. I, again, I don't know why when I have an especially busy day ahead of me, like I do today with a bunch of uh, zoom meetings and other things, it kind of wears me out before I even do it. So that's totally psychological. But uh, I'm glad I'm not the only one who does that then. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the, we're in the same boat. Yeah. Uh, actually we're in the same car because we're talking Toyota today. Kurt McAllister, our good friend who always makes sure that, uh, whoops, uh, Toyota is a big presenting sponsor of the Paul W. Smith Golf Classic. That's why I wore the shirt today. God bless Toyota and all the automotives that get involved and help us raise money for all those kids. But today it's our Paul W. Smith Show uh, Road Show, WJR Road Show uh, featuring Toyota. Couldn't do it without our great friends at Lear Corporation, along with the good folks at Continental Structural Plastics, Bridgestone, big part of our uh, our uh, golf tournament as well as Lear, Aurea, and Exalta uh, that make it possible for us to do these road shows uh, for a, a number of Fridays of this year. You know, we were talking about candy bars. Kim's uh, favorite candy bar is the Almond Joy. Um, I couldn't even remember my favorite candy bar. I don't know why, but I don't think of a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup as a candy bar, but it is. Mm -hmm. obviously. What was your favorite uh, candy? The bar? Almond Joy. The yeah. Almond Joy like Kim. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But Ron Campbell, Ron is the, uh, Ron, the bus driver from Utica, uh, sent us a note saying, uh, thanks for talking about Reese's cups and chocolates this early in the morning. Okay. That's good for you. Uh, do you realize that a three musketeers is the entry level bar? If you add caramel, you have a Milky Way. If you have nuts, you have a Snickers. Isn't that interesting? I never thought of it that way. Huh. So he says, he says, three Musketeers, a Chevy, Milky Way, a Buick, and a Snickers, a Cadillac. Only in Detroit. This is the Motor City. We think yes. of things. <laughs> we in think terms of, them, of cars. <laughs> in terms of cars. Did you see? I mean, this is, I know that I don't always understand what's called modern art, Marie. Oh. But did you, if, if I didn't understand modern art, this new trend in digital art is on a different planet, in a different uh, galaxy for me, because somebody just sold, they say, who knows this? I mean, whoever follows up on this stuff, there's no physical presence to this piece of art. This work of art does not physically exist. It is called Every Days, The First 5,000 Days. And it's a collection of images and maybe texts and little pictures, 5,000 of them, that's just digital. And it's sold for $69 million. Who bought that? Does it, do you know who bought it? I don't know. Probably a music. That is, I yeah. Don't, that's I don't about. get it though. Yeah, I you don't know, get computers it. crash. <laughs> what, yeah. what, what, happen, what happens if your computer crashes and your sixty-nine million dollar digital art disappears? And can't you just copy that? I mean, I think everybody like could copy it. Yeah, could copy that yeah, screenshot. You know, um, Kim, Kim says that may not really have happened. That there are PR people and there are stories that are planted and. You know, this artist, whoever it is, uh, I, I saw it, I don't remember it. I mean, this is a, it's a big boost, but for digital art, 69, I, if that's true, I really don't get it. No. Did you, do you recall ever seeing Maury Safer do his piece on modern art? I mean, I loved more. Uh, yeah. Safer, yeah. I loved him, but I don't remember that. Tell well, us. Well, it was, he, he just, you know, the way he had a way with words, he was a master. <laughs> And it was, it just was fabulous. And you should, at some time, I'm sure it's on YouTube, but the way he describes modern art and just the puzzlement that people have over trying to understand modern art. Right. Well, I can't wait. So we'll look for that with Mr. Safer. And I thank God that in this day and age, we can 
go to our computer that we're talking into right now and find something like that and enjoy it. Thanks for the heads up, Riri. 642 at WJR. This report is sponsored by the Ad Council. Okay, dads, it's time to do the Cabbage Patch, the Running Man, or something more contemporary, the Floss. Dance like a dad. Learn more at fatherhood.gov. Sponsored by the Ad Council. Let's uh, check it now at uh, just about 643. We've got our WJR traffic and weather first. We've got Dana Clark. Still nice and quiet out there. No reported accidents, uh, no major delays out there on the roadways. Uh, Talking about uh, construction this weekend. This is happening tonight along 94. Both directions will shut down between Connor and 75 at 9 p.m. Those lanes are scheduled to reopen Monday morning at 5 a.m. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. As we continue to face COVID-19, we're now facing flu season. So to protect us all, let's hit this virus head on, get your flu vaccine, learn more at michigan.gov slash flu. A message from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Mix of clouds and sunshine today, breezy and cooler mid Air to partly cloudy skies, cold tonight, 23, sunny and cooler this weekend. From the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ken Boone on News Talk 760 WJR. All righty, currently uh, 37 degrees, and uh, we've got our automotive views, which we do on uh, Fridays, and I look forward to it because it's with Jason Stein. Uh, He is preeminent in the automotive world. He happens to be the publisher of Automotive News. And this report is presented by Bo and the team, Bo Anderson and the team at Yazaki. Yazaki, fully connected to vehicle electrification. Good timing there, Bo. Here's Jason. One of the world's largest car companies has a warning for one upstart car maker. The car business is a complicated one. Toyota Motor Corporation President Akio Toyota offered a warning to Apple this week. There's more to the business of selling cars than just having the technology to produce them. His warning was clear. Toyota said, I'd like them to be prepared to deal with customers in various changes for some 40 years. Apple has been making waves within the car industry recently as it approaches a wide range of automakers that are seen as potential contenders for a vehicle partnership. Even Volkswagen CEO Herbert Diess weighed in, saying he wasn't afraid of Apple's entry. The car sector is different from the technology industry, and he said Apple won't manage to take it over overnight. Toyota said new tech firms joining the industry has the potential to breathe new life into the auto industry and give customers a wider range of choices. And maybe that's the point. Fear not, it's going to be hard for Apple to do anything within the industry. But either way, the road to new players will be a fascinating one to watch. With this week's Automotive View, I'm Jason Stein, publisher of Automotive News. As the auto industry's reliance on internal combustion engines shifts to electric, electrification will be the foundation for any type of advanced mobility. And with more than 75 years of wire, harness, electrical, and data solutions experience, Yazaki is your development partner for electric vehicles. Yazaki's customers have access to a comprehensive high-voltage products and systems portfolio. And the company's deep understanding of global automotive standards makes it the best choice to help drive and optimize your future vehicle's electrification systems and power distribution architecture. As a full-service supplier, Yozaki offers extensive additive manufacturing and rapid prototype capabilities. Its wide range of high-voltage research and testing resources helps customers integrate vehicle electrification, connectivity, and autonomy, fully connected to vehicle electrification. Learn more at yazaki-na.com. With a lineage of proven performance, a collaborative approach, and strategic locations across the globe, Aria is crafting the newest science of automotive acoustic and textile solutions. From acoustic products that reduce cabin noise to a wide range of flooring and other interior solutions that provide luxury, durability, and comfort, Aria is creating the next wave of automotive innovation. To find out more, visit ariasolutions.com. 
and paid for by Open Jar Concepts. Attention firefighters, members of the military, and airport workers. For decades, first responders and firefighters at military bases and airports used a chemical-based foam to fight fires. Studies have shown that chemicals used to make aqueous film-forming foam, or AFFF, are highly toxic to humans and have been associated with several types of cancer. If you or someone you know was exposed to AFFF and were diagnosed with any of these cancers, including kidney, bladder, prostate, pancreatic, lymphoma, leukemia, testicular, and neuroendocrine, then you you should call us immediately because you may be entitled to significant cash compensation. Call us at 800-931-0987. Our experienced attorneys will fight to get you the compensation you deserve, and you pay nothing unless we get a recovery in your favor. Time is limited to file a claim, so call us now, 800-931-0987. Operators are standing by 24-7, so don't wait. 800-931-0987. That's 800-931-0987. Again, 800-931-0987. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. And uh, 37 degrees, we're going in the wrong direction. Every day we've been getting warmer as the morning goes on. Today is a sign of the uh, fact that we're not going to go up into those uh, 60s and 70 degree mark, uh, obviously. Uh, by the way, Marie and Marie found it and Kim found it uh, at the same time. The morally uh, safer art story that Marie was referring to is worth looking up. It's called Yes, But Is It Art? And it uh, is from September 19th of 19. 19- 93 and it's uh, it's listed as Morley Safer's uh, uh, art story famous art story that Marie referenced and I can't wait to look at it when I get off the air myself but uh, Morley Safer uh, yes but is it art September 19th 1993 worth uh, looking at and that's in reference to the story I had about the digital art going for millions of dollars and me saying you know it took me a long time to understand modern art now it's the next thing. It's digital art, and it's sold for $69 million, and it, it doesn't physically exist. It's digitized, so uh, hard to figure. Uh, Dr. James Rowley is, uh, is a medical director of the Sleep Disorder Center at uh, DMC Receiving Hospital, and we, we want to touch base with him because I, I'm already having trouble with the time change because psychologically I'm extra tired today. And I can't figure out why other than that, Dr. Rowley, is, am I crazy or is it possible to be feeling the effects of the time change even even before it happens? Uh, well, thank you for having me on. I, I do think it's possible. I think we're all already anticipating the lack of, uh, you know, losing one hour of sleep tomorrow night. Um, it is, it, and it is significant. And we're going to, we're making a push to, Stop this nonsense. I don't know how you feel. How do you feel about going through these time changes twice a year? What's the point? I mean, do you, do you, from a doctor's standpoint, you can't be thrilled with it, given that there are more traffic accidents and heart attacks. Those are two things alone that make me say, why are we doing this? No, uh, I'm actually against it. I think it's time for uh, the United States to go back to just being on standard time, 365 days a year to avoid um, exactly what you said. Uh, every spring, there's an increase in heart attacks the Monday after um, the time change, the increase in um, car accidents on the Monday after the time change. It's time to change back uh, to just being on standard time all year round. And you would say, go to standard time. Our old uh, news director, uh, Dick Hafner, was a standard time guy. I-, I hear from both sides. I hear some people say they'd like to go stay at daylight savings time all the time or stay with standard time. You're saying let's stay with the standard time. Now, uh, yeah, there, there, oh, I was just going to say there is some evidence that um, our bodies never completely sync with daylight savings time, uh, even after being in it for months. Um, so, uh, so there is the thought as much of the scientific community uh, that we should be on standard time. Okay, I'm I'm open to it. Uh, I didn't choose one. I kind of think I was leaning toward daylight savings time, but the more I hear, I'm thinking standard time. Here's what I know: we've got to stop switching. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. It started in World War One to conserve fuel. For God's sakes, we're mm-hmm. well beyond all of that. Uh, pretty soon yeah. we'll have all electric vehicles. But anyway, <laughs> um, what, 
a couple of things. Why does the effect seem to linger on? Marie, our news person, Marie Osborne, was asking that same question. Uh, it's only an hour. Why does it seem to, we lose that hour and it, it, it's hard to shake for days? Yeah, I, I think a lot of it is related to the fact that um, uh, we're a sleep deprived society in the first place. So um, we getting even one less hour of sleep for a, a night uh, just puts us off. Um, it doesn't help that then we do go have to go to work pretty much within 24 hours of the change. Um, I just read recently that if we were to change, we maybe should change on Friday night. So we'd actually have two or three days to change, Not you know, bad. to adjust before we go back uh, yeah. to work and everything. Um, so, uh, the, and for some people, the change is easy, but you're right. For many people, it can take several days to really feel better. And I think, um, again, uh, the fact that we just don't get enough sleep and electronics are such a big part of our lives now. Um, you know, we go to bed with our te cell phones and that doesn't help either uh, in terms of helping make the adjustment. Yeah, boy, that's affected our business. It occurs to me that even I wake up with my cell phone alarm rather than a clock radio, and that's not right. good for my business. Mm -hmm. So I think you should make mm -hmm. a determination and a medical statement that people sh should start waking up with a clock radio again. It would help my business a lot, Doc. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I still use a clock radio. <laughs> so. I knew I was going to like you. Here's another question. Uh, Dr. James Rowley with us, medical director of the Sleep Disorder Center at DMC Detroit Receiving Hospital. By the way, I am a, a strong believer in the CPAP machine. I oh, have okay. had one. I've had one for years. And uh, my doctors always used to say, are you using your CPAP? I wouldn't dream of not using my CPAP. It, it, probably saved my life. I don't get enough sleep as it is. So the sleep I do get, I want to be good sleep. So the three hours a night I get, the CPAP at least makes it better. I know three hours is stupid and wrong. I understand that. But a CPAP is a lifesaver. What do you think of those? I, I don't mean to throw you off here, but what do you, there's some kind of, there's some kind of electronic thing uh, on television now. I don't like the idea of a, of an electronic item implanted into my throat or somewhere and you press a button so that you can yes. sleep what, what what do you think yes, about that uh so that's what's uh called a, a nerve stimulator it actually stimulates the nerve to your tongue um and it's actually for people who do cannot and will not wear cpap uh, uh, actually been shown to be quite helpful uh but it is only indicated for people who just will not tolerate cpap but for those people, it can be quite a lifesaver as well. Okay. And some really good data for them, uh, for that group of people. I'm kind of used to, you know, wearing this stuff. Uh, I'm used to looking like Darth Vader when I go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> and thank God my wife is used to that as well. But anyway, um, mm -hmm. what about this? Because I've heard different things. I don't sleep well during the week. I mean, I just, I don't go to sleep. I sleep well. Once I, my pillow, my head hits mm -hmm. my pillow, I'm asleep. Um uh, but I don't go to sleep. And I have heard in the past, you can't catch up on sleep on the weekend. Then I heard, well, you can catch up on sleep on the weekend. I try to catch up on sleep on the weekend. Does it count? Does it work? It, it, it works to an extent, um, meaning that you probably, if you sleep an extra hour or so, will help you um, some. But uh, it's not a one-to-one -one ratio either, right? So if you're if you're sleep depriving yourself two to three hours a, a night, four or five days a week, you can't make that up over the weekend. All right. Well, that's good yeah, to know. So like for someone like me who maybe gets about six hours and forty-five minutes of sleep instead of the recommended seven, yeah, the extra hour on the weekend can help make that up. But if you yeah. really every night two hours of sleep deprivation, you just can't do it. Yeah, doesn't help. No, it doesn't. I mean, it helps a little bit, but it's never going to get you back to where you would be, you know, if you did seven nights every every night of the week, which is what's recommended. Doctor, everybody seems to be sleep deprived now these days. Why is that? What happened to us? It's something we can control, and yet we we don't take the bull by the horn, so to speak. Uh, is that the expression? Well, I, I, yeah, that is. Um, I, I'm a firm believer that at least over the last uh, decade or so, uh, electronics have really made a huge difference. 
Um, now that we can take cell phones to bed with us or laptops to bed, I mean, that's the number one I see thing I see with my patients is that they tell me how they play with their phone in bed at night. Um, and I just tell them you're putting a bright light in the, in front of your eyes. Is there any wonder you can't go to sleep? And they look at me and they go, yeah, you're probably right. Um, <laughs> Anything. I mean, TVs have always been bad. I don't, you know. Uh, I hate televisions in the bedroom. Six, yeah, and, but I mean, at least the television's six to ten feet away usually, right? So it's, it's right. light, but a laptop or a cell phone gets right in your eyes. Yeah. Um, suggestions. And, uh, what suggestions? suggestions is that people, yeah, people just have to learn to put their cell phone down and, um, uh, obviously, you can't turn it off right? because we're all, so many people, that's their phone, too, as well these days. But they really got to get into the habit of putting it on their bed t- table, uh, maybe turning it over uh, so, you know, they aren't tempted um, and uh, learn to go to sleep without it. But but what suggestions, if any, to get ready for this time change as we as we spring oh, forward yeah. and lose an hour of sleep and go into daylight so, savings time uh, until we get this changed? Right. Well, one thing uh, people could do tonight is to try to go to bed like 15 to 20 minutes earlier. Um, ideally, one would have started that two or three days ago, um, right. you know, 15 minutes a night. But even if you do it tonight, that would be helpful. Uh, it's recommended that you do your normal activities tomorrow, stay active, um, go to bed at your regular time and then be active on Sunday and get outside, especially if it's sunny, because the sunlight will help get your circadian rhythms um, reinforced. Um, and if you take a nap on Sunday, it should be a short nap, 15, 20 minutes at best. Do not try to sleep for an hour and a half to make up for that lost hour of sleep, because that will just make it difficult to fall asleep um, Sunday night going into Monday morning. Great advice, Doc. I would strongly suggest if you have sleep issues, if you don't sleep, if you snore and keep your partner from sleeping, it's not just bad for them, it's bad for you because you're probably not getting enough oxygen and you very well should probably go through a sleep study. Might I recommend Dr. James Rowley, the medical director of the Sleep Disorders Center at the DMC Detroit Receiving Hospital. How do people get in touch, Doc? Uh, they can call the DMC um, uh, appointment line, which I believe is 1-800-DMC-2500. So. 1-800-DMC-2500. Otherwise, uh, they can find you, obviously, uh, right. on, mm-hmm. online, etc. Thanks, Doc, very much. I appreciate You're very your welcome. help. Thanks for having me. Uh-huh. Okay. Thank you. See, he's against it, too, the time change. And he's a doctor. Now, he wants to stick with standard time, and he has some scientific reasons for that. He says, our bodies never really adjust totally to the daylight savings time. So I'm now going to lean toward standard time year-round. What I really want is just to pick one and stick with it and not make these ridiculous changes twice a year. It's not necessary. My goodness gracious, it's 7 o'clock at WJR Detroit. This report is sponsored by Compassion International. For kids in poverty around the world, things are still desperate. Join Compassion International with your one-time $40 gift to provide a COVID relief kit to a family in poverty. Text the word GIVE to 83393. That's GIVE to 83393. Just ahead of news with Marie, we have our WJR traffic and weather first with Dana. Seeing some uh, slow traffic, Paul W. along 75 northbound between Rochester Road and Big Beaver. Construction has two lanes closed there. That's scheduled through March 21st. Expect delays. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Window World. Call Window World at 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW. For your window door or siding project, get 0% financing for 60 months. Window World is America's largest exterior replacement remodeler and a trusted team partner of WJR's Inside Outside Guys. Call 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW or visit windowworlddetroit.com. Expecting a great start to the weekend sunshine each and every day. We do remain dry. Sun and clouds today, a high 56 tonight, a partly cloudy, your low 24. Currently sunshine, 38 degrees. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Marie Osborne in about one minute. WJR Detroit and WD. Good morning, Mr. Levin. Can you hear me? Oh, I cannot hear you. I think you are muted. I have unmuted you. Let's try that Uh one more time. Uh, Good morning. Can you hear me now all right? I can hear you. Very good. Very good. Good. You can hear me well, yes? Yes, sir. Good, good, good. 
All right, you're coming up after the news. Stand by. Okie doke. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. adults vaccine eligible and July 4th when Americans may be able to celebrate virus independence. Grinnell Scott, Fox News. A Republican-controlled Michigan Senate has authorized a lawsuit against Governor Whitmer if she allocates federal COVID relief funds not appropriated by the legislature. The action follows a dispute over lawmakers wanting to limit any Michigan Health Department epidemic orders to 28 days and then shift decisions on school closures from the State Department to local health agencies. Michigan reporting 2,091 new COVID deaths and or 2,091 new COVID cases and 23 deaths. Also, 12% of those 16 and older have now been fully vaccinated in Michigan. Florida Republican Congressman Brian Mass suggesting the U.S. address the debt it has with China in order to hold the country's gov- government accountable for their role in covering up the severity of the coronavirus and explains how it won't impact the U.S. ability to get future loans from other countries. This is not a, a default on debt. This has to be something that it has been adjudicated. There has been a due process to hold China accountable by the world, as I said, as an example, by the World Trade Organization and all of its member nations to say this will occur for every nation, not just for the yeah. United States of America. But there's only one country that can actually lead on this, and that is the United States of America. Nobody yeah. else is going to take charge on that. The Trump administration making claims that COVID-19 actually. Good morning, Jerome. Um, <clears throat> how are you? I'm fine. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Yeah, you sound great. Yeah, well, uh, this you. is uh, StreamYard. This is this is StreamYard. Something new. It's kind of cool, isn't it? It's on yeah, it Facebook. Is cool. So it's video streaming that we do, and then it, you'll be on Facebook and YouTube on top of being on oh JR. Gosh. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, so you're at 7:48. We do have, and you you could ah. um, you can be backstage though, and you know, do whatever you want to do. But okay. we do have an interesting um, Toyota guest at uh, 718 you might want to listen to. You probably know who this is. Who is oh, it? It's Polly. Um, Shinichi Yasu. Yasui, Executive Vice President, Toyota Motor North America. I haven't had the pleasure. Yasui-san. Okay. Um, executive VP, there's Polly. Polly, there's Darone. Hi, Darone. Is that an that's an I at the end, is it? Y A S U I. Yeah. Is it? Would that be Yasui? Yasui. I wish I could tell you. I don't. Uh, I, think I don't he's, know he this person. He might be popping in here backstage. Is now what, Jerome? What time is Jerome on? Jerome is at seven forty-eight. We are just testing him. We're testing. Oh, okay. Hello, yeah. Jerome. And hello, here's hello. our guest. Here's our nice guest. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Doctor. Uh, oh. This is uh, our guest from Toyota. Shinichi Yasui. Yes. What, am I saying it incorrectly or correctly? Yes, correct. Okay. <laughs> my name is Paul. Welcome to the program. Nice to have you here. Good morning. How Good are you? Good morning. And we're, you're our guest at 718. So we're, if you, we'll just uh, put you backstage and then bring you back in about 715. You sound great. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And then Paul, uh, Congressman Wahlberg is, should Wahlberg be on the, the show area. coming your way in two call. minutes. Okay. So you're good to go there. All right. You okay? Everything good? Yeah. Okay. I'm right backstage. Holler if you need me. All righty. Learn more about our leading edge alternative fertility care at MIFertility.com. Lear. A global automotive technology leader in seating and e-systems has a reputation for identifying industry trends and acting on them. As the industry continues to transform, Lear faces the future of the vehicle with an even bolder vision. One that is connected, electrified, and sustainable. And one that enables them to make every product, every experience, and every drive better than the one that came before it. Lear, making every drive better. To learn more, visit Lear.com. 
Some big news. Since Election Day, almost 5 million people have downloaded the free Newsmax TV app on their smartphone. You can trust Newsmax TV. Watch it for free anytime. And go to Newsmax.com for breaking news. Newsmax is on all major cable systems. Call your operator if they don't carry it. Plus, watch Newsmax on Roku, YouTube, Apple TV, Zumo, TiVo Plus, Pluto, and smart TVs like Samsung and LG. Newsmax is real news for real people. Start watching today. Heard the good news about COVID-19 vaccines? They're here, but you can do more than wait for your turn. Here's how. Stay at least six feet away from folks you don't live with, and it's risky to be indoors with them too. And masks? Well, they protect both the person wearing them and the folks around them. Wear a mask, watch your distance, and make a big difference now. Learn more about vaccines at cdc.gov slash coronavirus. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. At Dana, we provide fuel-efficient axles for some of the industry's toughest applications. An Advantech axle from Dana means vehicles can handle the most rugged conditions over and over. And while industry awards can speak for Advantech's efficiency and performance, we can say our axles are in demand by the world's leading sport utility vehicles and trucks, as well as off-road enthusiasts. It's not easy, but we'll keep innovating mobility anyway. Dana, people finding a better way. Learn more at Dana.com. It's the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Here's Paul. We are so thankful to those uh, sponsors who uh, carry us and uh, make it possible for us to do things like this. And we thank Toyota. Uh, in the spotlight on the Paul W. Smith Show with our road show today. Uh, Toyota has been such a great neighbor, been so helpful with our Paul W. Smith Golf Classic and in so many other ways. And uh, they are such a good uh, community member, too. We're going to say hi to the executive vice president, Toyota Motor North America, research and development president, Toyota Motor Engineering and Manufacturing, and chief technology officer, Toyota Motor North America. They make these people have several jobs, don't they? Well, it's uh, Shinichi Yasui, and I just met him backstage, if you will, and we're looking forward to uh, having him on the program at uh, 718. I just went outside again. Just It's so different than this time yesterday. It was You get a blast of warm air. It was 60 degrees. Now I go out there, and, and, and you can I can see my breath. And, and it's not just because I had a pizza last night. You can you could see my breath. Thank you, Brian, uh, because it's 36 degrees. Man, oh, man, uh, that's crazy. Uh, meanwhile, uh, did I say it's Friday, March 12th? Did I go through that, Brian? Friday, March 12th, 71st day of 2021, 294 days left in the year. Make each and every day count. Each day, even chilly ones like this, each day is a gift. All right, uh, this president spoke last night, Congressman Tim Wahlberg. Uh, uh, yesterday, w- we uh, we had some uh, reaction uh, from the Democrats on a variety of uh, situations, like the COVID-19 bill being signed by the president and uh, his first major address last night. We need to get the other side's reaction. And a guy I respect a lot is Congressman Tim Wahlberg, and he is, I believe, on the line right now. Congressman, good morning. Good morning, Paul W. It's good to be back in Michigan and the land of reality. <laughs> <laughs> well, mostly. Uh, and uh, I know you've uh, visited our uh, men and women in the Michigan National Guard who are thankfully coming home. Uh, unfortunately, more National Guard's people will be sent to protect the Capitol under fire. Uh, and uh, we'll see how that all ends up. But be that as it may, give me some of your thoughts on on the COVID-19 bill with uh, the best number I've seen, uh, no more than 9% of it really having to do with COVID-19 with with $1.9 trillion. I know people are happy getting their additional checks and, and such a big deal is being made of the $1.9 trillion. On the other hand, we spent $4 trillion last year on COVID. Yeah, we did. And uh, a trillion of that is still unspent. And we could have used that as opposed to passing a almost $2 trillion massive debt increasing bill that, as you rightly said, only 9% of it is actually for 
COVID relief health care. And much of the rest of it, um, if there is, for instance, for schools, et cetera, can only be used in 2022 and beyond. Um, that includes vac- vaccines um, and, and the disbursement of it. So this was a massive, massive spending bill on all sorts of things unrelated to COVID and yet called the COVID relief bill. And we heard the president last night explain, exclaim about uh, the greatness of signing that bill and continuing to do things that uh, show the country that we are getting ahead of it. When in fact, what he took credit for last night was what the Donald Trump administration gave him, including three vaccines that uh, our president before he was president and his vice president said it was impossible to get the vaccines in a year. It's 10 months uh, the vaccines came out and we're benefited by it, especially by Pfizer right here in Michigan. And, uh, and a million doses were already be- being given uh, the day he was sworn in uh, to office. So uh, it's, it's strange to hear those type of statements. But then you look at the bill itself and uh, see a massive bailout of, of blue states most of which, including California, have a surplus, and yet we give $350 billion to bail out states. We, we uh, are opening borders, but we're not opening schools. Um, the 5% in the bill that goes towards school openings, um, it, it doesn't require schools to be opened. It, it gives them the money but they can remain closed as opposed to looking at the schools in in an amendment I offered in energy and commerce committee that would have required schools to be open five days a week in order to receive the funding in full that was rejected out of hand. I'm sure most of your listeners would uh, just uh, be amazed and shocked that we are giving a $1,400 check, uh, not simply to, uh, individuals that meet requirements uh, in our in our country and living in our country doing things that they ought to do we're giving it to uh, um, criminals in prison including some who have committed mass violence in school shootings they will receive a fourteen hundred dollar check you look at that and you say what in the world well, Congressman, are we thinking about my listeners understand that that's buying future votes um, unfortunately uh, and that's what they're doing. And the Democrats' wish list, that's a kind of scary wish list, is being funded by the $1.9 trillion. What's astonishing to me is you're right. Our president last night put down our former president and took credit for things that our former president did. And he, somebody actually said to me, I think he might give credit to Donald Trump for warp speed and getting those vaccines. I said, are you kidding me? This yeah, president... Yeah. This man, Joe Biden, today, today's Joe Biden, would never do that because he's not allowed to do that. This is a shell of a former man. The old Joe Biden, I think the old Joe Biden that you knew and I knew might have said, want to thank uh, the previous administration, uh, even if you didn't name them, with warp speed, we got the, uh, the vaccines and we hit the ground running and blah, blah, blah. But they're not going to allow him to do that now. And trust me when I say they are not going to allow him because he is controlled by a cabal of uh, people because this man is sadly a shell of him former self. And if you, 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 I know people are saying, well, he spoke so soothingly. Hey, he spoke the way he can only speak now reading that script. It's, it, I see it as very unfortunate. I think, as I said before the election, I believe it will be President uh, Kamala Harris in a relatively short period of time. It's sad to watch uh, the, this Joe Biden compared to the Joe Biden that we knew for years, who was vibrant and uh, full of life and uh, was even, uh, could be even fair in his presentation. And, and he wasn't terribly fair about remembering COVID and the former administration. Um, anything else? I believe you're right. I believe you're right on that. When I sat at the inauguration, listened to him say, we're going to unify this country. We're going to work for unity in the country. And I haven't seen it uh, so far uh, since that day. Uh, these bills are being run over us, literally, uh, on Second Amendment liberties, First Amendment liberties, um, this COVID relief bill, not a single Republican amendment was allowed onto it. 
and in, and it's touching the lives of people, but it's taking dollars and putting our grandkids, great grandkids in huge debt uh, for a purpose that we're not aware of on COVID. It's all for uh, social justice, et cetera, that, that is in the minds of, of this administration. It worries me a lot. And um, we have to keep working with it. Uh, we'll do our best to try to be part of the solution. But you have to open up to that that side that says we disagree with these points. You know, the COVID relief bill, if it were that, there are plenty of parts of that bill I think Republicans, myself included, could have supported for small businesses, school reopening, vaccinations, et cetera. We could have supported that. But the overwhelming majority of that $2 trillion bill was not for that. And I certainly can't support giving uh, giving uh, health care to illegal immigrants who are now being led across the border without a COVID test that say they should be uh, um, put in isolation or not. Right. And giving them things that we don't give to our own citizens. We, we, so, are, we are more isolated than the illegal immigrants. And there are more kids being separated from their parents than ever before. And even yeah. some probably in those uh, famous cages that they blame Trump for, but they were there during the Obama administration. Look, and Congress, our own kids, are, our own kids being separated from their teachers and their classmates. Right. And that's, that's worrisome, Paul W. And, and uh, frankly, we have to stand up as Americans and say enough is enough. Um, let's move on. Let's get back into a normalcy. Let's follow the follow the, the science as they tell us to do. Follow the science, but part of that science says America does not work isolation or shutdown. Let's keep moving. I'm glad the airwaves have allowed you to keep moving. Yeah, and that's at least so far. Let's see how long that lasts. Congressman Tim Wahlberg, thanks for being with us. Always a pleasure. Likewise, have a great weekend in Michigan. Uh, you do the same. Uh, I need you to work with me on getting rid of the time change. We don't need to do this anymore, Congressman, and we're going to need Congress's Paul, help. Paul W., I agree with you. My wife and I, that's one disagreement we have. She loves loves uh, daylight savings time. I say just let it happen naturally around around the world so um, we could have a great experience together of just living normally with the time as it is and uh, uh, as, as opposed to these time changes. So I agree with you totally. All right. Well, let's get that done this year. We've been talking about it for years. Not you and me, but I mean, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I got to run. Thank you, Congressman. Let's uh, get our WJR business beat in there. Jeff Sloan, founder and CEO of Startup Nation, spotlighting the entrepreneurial tech and startup community on WJR. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Paul. Forbes has just come out with its list of the world's best employers to work for. And we've got the inside scoop this morning on the business beat. Forbes partnered with research firm Statista to survey more than 160,000 full-time and part-time workers from 58 countries. All surveys were anonymous, allowing participants to openly share their opinions about their employers. Now, those surveyed were asked to rate their employers in various ways, such as whether or not they'd recommend their employer to friends and family, and or if they felt their employer in their respective industries stood out positively. And participants were also asked to rate their companies on aspects such as image, economic footprint, talent development, gender equality, and social responsibility. And then the 750 companies that received the highest total scores made the final list. The results? Well, first, let me point out the United States dominated the list with 247 employers on it. Unsurprisingly, employees of IT, software, and telecommunications organizations, which have seen business grow and were able to shift to working remotely more easily, tended to rate their companies' coronavirus responses more positively than workers of, say, travel and leisure or transportation companies. So what gets a company onto the list? Well, by way of example, HP came in at number 17 on the list, and Forbes reports that among other perks, HP offered its employees the opportunity to apply for its employee relief fund, allowing everyone who faced a pandemic-related financial hardship to apply to receive up to $10,000 from the company. Now, that'll get you on the list. Employees at HP also had access to physicians on staff while they worked. Michelin chef-led cooking classes and homeschooling tutoring support sessions. And now to the top three. So who topped the list? Well, it was Samsung at number one, Amazon came in at number two, and IBM at number three. You can see the complete list at Forbes.com. Make it a great weekend, everybody. 
I'm Jeff Sloan, founder and CEO of StartupNation.com, and that's today's business beat on the great voice of the Great Lakes, WJR. This report is sponsored by Compassion International. For kids in poverty around the world, things are still desperate. Join Compassion International with your one-time $40 gift to provide a COVID relief kit to a family in poverty. Text the word GIVE to 83393. That's GIVE to 83393. 722, let's check in our WJR traffic and weather first in Dana Clark. Traffic first sponsored by shelving.com. Shelving.com can help you save money and prevent workplace accidents with its free 10-point warehouse safety inspections. They offer in-person and virtual options. Schedule your free inspection today on shelving.com. Shelving.com, we rack your world. A delay is along your 75 northbound commute between Rochester Road and Big Beaver. Two right lanes are closed at schedule through March 21st. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by North Bloomfield Properties. If you're looking for a place to call home, let North Bloomfield Properties find the best place for you and your family. They also provide pre-screened quality tenants to their property owners. They love to match good people to good homes. Contact them today, northbloomfield.com. Mix of clouds and sunshine for us today. Breezy and a little cooler. Temperatures into the mid-50s. That's still 10 degrees above average. Fair to partly cloudy skies tonight. Cold 23. It'll be even cooler this weekend. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures a few degrees on either side of 50 both days. From the Weather Channel, I'm Ken Boone on Newstock 760 WJR. Lear, a global automotive technology leader in seating and e-systems, has a reputation for identifying industry trends and acting on them. As the industry continues to transform, Lear faces the future of the vehicle with an even bolder vision. One that is connected, electrified, and sustainable. And one that enables them to make every product, every experience, and every drive better than the one that came before it. Lear, making every drive better. To learn more, visit Lear.com. Hi, folks. Craig Hubble, General Manager at Crestview Cadillac in Rochester. I'm determined to get you into a new Cadillac this month. You know, your safety is our top priority here. And I have a ton of 2021 Cadillacs in stock right now, and we'll deliver it to you sanitized. And my Crestview price will be unmatched. We're experts at employee pricing, and we pull ahead Cadillac leases every day. And you'll always get a Cadillac loaner here. Call us now, see us on Rochester Road or at CrestviewCadillac.com. You'll see the difference. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota, this stop on the road show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. You know, I don't think we remember enough uh, just how involved Toyota is in Michigan and in our area. If you consider that Toyota's North America R&D headquarters in Washtenaw County just south of Ann Arbor in York Township, that R&D center is the largest Toyota R&D center outside of Japan. So they have a big footprint, a big involvement right here in the great state of Michigan. And I am so pleased to welcome the executive vice president, Toyota Motor North America Research and Development, president Toyota Motor Engineering and Manufacturing, and chief technology officer of Toyota Motor North America, uh, Shinichi, Shinichi Yasui. Shinichi Yasui is here, and it's a pleasure to have you on the program, Yasui san. Uh, it is uh, a privilege, in fact. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Good morning, Paul san. Uh, we have a, a great relationship with Toyota in Michigan, and we have for a very long time for very good reason. And your part of your job in research and development. And I know this from going to Japan and visiting your research and development there is that you feel very strongly about and you're responsible for making cars that are safe. And something I, I'll never forget that I remember being the Toyota way. Something sounds simple, but it's very to the point. Part of your job is making your customers happy. Yes. That's correct. And, and, you know, the first time I heard that, uh, it was so simple, but yet I, I hadn't heard it from a lot of people in the past. That really has been your goal. Your goal was not to climb up the ranks and, and to certainly it's great to be the number one car manufacturer in the world. It's great for all that stuff. But 
you very humbly, uh, each person I've met through uh, Toyota, uh, Yasui-san, you guys just want to make the customers happy with safe vehicles. Yep. Uh, our philosophy, well, anyway, Toyota, we, we have a, like a respect for people. And uh, recently, Toyota mission of producing happiness for all it's uh, promoted by our president, Akio Toyoda. And uh, focus on the USA, we are focused North American cust customer happiness. It's and also, yeah, uh, also we are now moving to the, not only the mobility, uh, not only the uh, vehicle, but also the, how do you say, uh, mobility, that yes. area, yeah. I, I will say this, that uh, like so many uh, automotive companies and, and suppliers and OEMs, uh, Toyota is transforming into a mobility company. Uh, so what's the Toyota take? What does a mobility company mean to Toyota? Okay. Uh, two years ago, we shared our intent to transform from an automotive company to a mobility company. This will allow Toyota to provide many kind of mobility related products and service to people everywhere. At Toyota, we believe freedom of movement makes making possible Toyota continue to invest in many areas supporting, supporting the future of mobility. Our approach in focus on case Case meaning the connectivity, autonomous capability, mobility as a service, and the electrification. In Michigan, one example of our contribution is Autonomous, automated mobility as a service. We will start producing Toyota Sienna minivan that support Autonomous service or automated ride-sharing pilot at the end of this year. This, how do you say, mobility for all, another important goal for Toyota, that is that this include people who are unable to drive themselves because of age or physical condition, and so on. At Toyota, we believe that all people should enjoy mobility and the freedom that it brings. That is our philosophy. I remember on that one visit to uh, 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 Toyota in Japan, and I, we were brought there by our friends at Aishin. Mm -hmm. um, and, and at that time, and this is years ago, you were working on personal mobility. There was, a, I can't remember what it was called, but there was like a chair that I would sit in and it would go back and then it became a vehicle, a one person vehicle or mobility yep. machine. And you've been working on that for a very long time. You're engaged in the local Michigan community. We so appreciate that. And again, before we let you go, um, Yasui-san, what, what exact uh, R&D work are you working on now uh, in Michigan? Uh, okay, uh, anyway, let's be explain a little bit the background. Toyota is North American R&D headquarter in Michigan. It was started in 1972 and being a part of Michigan automotive industry for almost 50 years. Also, you mentioned already, uh, this is the largest R&D center outside Japan. And the Toyota has over 2,000 team members in Michigan alone. Mm. Yeah, and uh, they perform many different activity to make good quality and safe passenger car and light duty truck to delight customer. This is a happiness for people, who are especially North American customer. In this way, we can contribute to the global Toyota mission. Uh, anyway, we said producing happiness for all by promoting our president Akio Toyota. We are now developing typical North American model like uh, Avalon, Siena, Tacoma, and Sa Tandra. Some of the activity to the design 
and the tuning apart or engine and the part frame. Also, we test fuel economy and the CO2 emission as a part of a certification activity. And also we have a, we have a prototype center to build and test new technology and the product. And also we have a, we have a crash test facility to confirm safety. Excellent. It's good to check in with you and uh, Yasui-san, a marvelous job with your English, which is your second language, and I greatly appreciate that. Uh, you've been very easily understood, and we understand just how involved Toyota is in Michigan, and we are very much appreciative of that. Thank you for being with us. We do, we do look forward to speaking again. Thank you. I learned uh, English is uh, UOM. Go blue. <laughs> <laughs> Good, for Good for you. Go blue. Yep. Shinichi Yasui. Yasui-san, thank you again very much as we continue on the Paul W. Smith Show at uh, 732 on WJR. Thank you. Enjoy specials on Dell Docs, monitors, and servers, plus up to 45% off the latest Dell business computers powered by Intel Core processors. So call 877-ASK-DELL to speak with the Dell Technologies Advisor. That's 877-ASK-DELL. And we're checking our WJR traffic and weather first. Just ahead of news, here's Dana Clark. Still a great drive out there, Paul W. Pull out the sunglasses for sure today. Traffic first sponsored by Shelving.com. Shelving.com can help you save money and prevent workplace accidents with its free 10-point warehouse safety inspections. They offer in-person and virtual options. Schedule your free inspection today on Shelving.com. Shelving.com, we rack your world. A slight delay along 75 northbound between Rochester Road and Big Beaver. Construction there has your right two lanes closed at schedule through March 21st. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by North Bloomfield Properties. If you're looking for a place to call home, let North Bloomfield Properties find the best place for you and your family. They also provide pre screen quality tenants to their property owners. They love to match good people to good homes. Contact them today, northbloomfield.com. Lots of sunshine today, a few afternoon clouds, a high of 56. That's about 10 degrees above average. Tonight, a partly cloudy, low 24. Lots of sunshine as well for the weekend. Sun on Saturday, 50. Sunshine and clouds mixed on Sunday and a high of 49. Sunshine, currently 38 degrees. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Marie is coming up. President Biden making his first primetime address to the nation as commander in chief Thursday night, remarking the American achievement of vaccine production in this country. It's never, ever a good bet to bet against the American people. America is coming back. The development, manufacture and distribution of vaccines in record time is a true miracle of science. It's one of the most extraordinary achievements any country has ever accomplished. Before the speech, President Biden signed a COVID relief package totaling $1.9 trillion. Fox's Gary Baumgarten has a breakdown on the massive package. Officials at the Congressional Budget Office say the Biden administration needs to spend roughly $3.7 billion every day for the remainder of the year. That's $43,000 every second, with $400 billion allocated for the stimulus checks, roughly $130 billion for schools, $120 billion will be directed toward the vaccine rollout, and a whopping $315 billion is expected to help bail out state economies. Gary Baumgarten. Fox News. The Michigan Health Department launching a new rapid testing program in preparation for students returning to school after spring break. It's a voluntary program that is to begin on April 1st. The number of migrants and asylum seekers in the U.S. Uh, southwest border surging to levels not seen since the pandemic. Now Mexico's president is blaming the Biden administration for that increase. Fox's Trace Gallagher reports. Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador said this about President Biden, quoting, they see him as the migrant president. And so many feel they're going to reach the United States. Go back to 2019, and there were 104,000 at the peak season. We talk about May being peak season, and 104,000 uh, migrants then, and that was a record. We are very near that record now. 
Oakland County Sheriff's deputies investigating after a Wall Lake Central High School teacher may have accidentally webcast herself using the toilet at the end of a classroom Zoom call. They're also investigating reports that a student in the class recorded it and then shared the video on Snapchat. This happened on Wednesday. The Free Press reports the teacher didn't realize the camera was on after the class ended. Roman Catholics in the Detroit Archdiocese are being again reminded to be obligated to attend Mass on Sundays and Holy Days of Obligation beginning tomorrow. The general dispensation had been effect since last March because uh, since last March, because of the coronavirus. Archbishop Alan Vigneron said individuals should prepare to return to Mass in recognition of the preeminence in the lives of Catholics, a dispensation those for those who cannot return due to health reasons remains in effect. Checking our world markets this morning, the Asian markets closed mixed today. London down, the futures are down this hour. For WJR News, I'm Marie Osborne. Back to Paul W. in two minutes. Bridgestone is proud to support WJR's Road Show with Paul W. Smith every Friday in March. Hear all about the future of mobility and the great new vehicles you'll be seeing on the road today, tomorrow, and into the future. Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. From the advanced composites in the roof of an iconic off-road vehicle to the toughest pickup truck box available, a next-generation electric vehicle battery case, or the complete body of a world-class performance car. Continental Structural Plastics is going beyond expectations to reduce vehicle weight, improve performance, and enhance design flexibility. Infinite possibilities, powered by science, brought to you by Continental Structural Plastics, a Tajin Group company. Learn more at cspplastics.com. Aria is proud to support WJR's Roadshow with Paul W. Smith every Friday this month. Hear all about the future of mobility and the great new vehicles you'll be seeing on the road today, tomorrow, and into the future. Aria. Builds quiet, comfortable, durable into your vehicle. We all got hit hard in 2020. Beaumont's been fighting the pandemic with our community since Michigan's first COVID patients were diagnosed. It takes all of us. We're proud to have cared for the most COVID patients in the state. And now we're leading the fight to end the pandemic with our new vaccination clinics. With every person we vaccinate, our community grows stronger. But we can only do it together. Beat the pandemic with Beaumont. Hi, it's Frank Beckman here. Why not add a little excitement to your sports watching experience these days by betting on all the action at FanDuel? There's a reason why FanDuel is America's number one sports book. Their app is so simple to use. They've got great odds on all different kinds of betting markets, unique fun bet types like same-game parlays, exclusive always-on promotions like enhanced odds boosts on the biggest events to let you get more action out of every game day. When you win, they get you your winnings in as little as 24 hours. It's so easy to use. They've got all these fast withdrawal options, odds boosts, and specials. Opportunity to win big with this range of betting options available to you, as well as live betting while the game is going on. You're going to love FanDuel Sportsbook. Download the app right now. Your first bet will be risk-free up to $1,000. Place a bet on any game. FanDuel is going to refund you up to $1,000 back in site credit if you don't win that first bet. So download the FanDuel Sportsbook app right now. Use the promo code FRANK so they know I sent you. 21 and older and present in Michigan. First online real money wager only. Site credit is non-withdrawable and expires in 14 days. Restrictions apply. See full terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problems? Call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. Well, a beautiful uh, Friday morning, Marie. It's uh, it's gorgeous. It's just not as warm as it has been. We're in the 30s rather than the 60s as we were uh, this time yesterday. It's starkly uh, different when you stick your head outside, uh, and, but it is beautiful. Doesn't sunshine make everything better? It makes everything better. And uh, just having a nice early sunrise and seeing the sun, it's fabulous. It is. Um, we're preparing, all of us are preparing for the time change. Tomorrow night when you go to bed, you uh, you need to set your clocks ahead an hour, spring forward, fall backwards. Uh, I, don't, I know you're busy putting your news together, but I did uh, ask Dr. James Rowley, 
uh, the medical director of the Sleep Disorder Center at DMC Detroit Receiving Hospital, uh, some of your uh, questions and why it seems mm -hmm. to linger on so long. It's fascinating, isn't it? Yes, it is. It really is. Um, I'm glad you asked him that question. Well, I'm glad you asked that question to be asked. And um, interestingly enough, he, well, I guess it shouldn't be a shock because they're, they're physically and psychologically, it's terrible when we go through the time change and it affects us. And there are more crashes, more heart attacks. He's totally against changing the time as well. And he wants us to stick with standard time, which has now swayed me over to the standard time. I just don't want us to switch. I want us to pick one and stay with it. I was kind of going toward daylight savings time because it sounds better, but standard time. I mean, look how beautiful the morning is right now at 742 as opposed to it being 842. It's it's lovely out. And, um, and he said something I didn't know. Our bodies never truly adjust totally to daylight savings according to their research. So that's why he says stick with standard. Exactly. And a lot of people want to stick with standard. But I like having my daylight in the afternoon hours into the evening. I like that. Um, you know, a lot of people disagree. Well, here in Michigan, you know, we're at the end of the Eastern time zone. So right. we enjoy it. We do enjoy later uh, sunsets. As, even as it is, we enjoy later uh, on standard time. We enjoy later sunsets. But you do agree, though you may want oh, daylight savings yeah. and so I, there's one standard that we got to stop this. Yeah, it doesn't seem it just doesn't seem to make sense. And it's funny that now, you know, that people continue to ask that question, but nobody seems to do anything about it. Well, we're going to do something about it right here on this program. We've talked to enough Congress people because it has to go through Congress. Uh, we're going to get this done. That's our goal this year. 743 at 760 WJR. This report is sponsored by Compassion International. For kids in poverty around the world, things are still desperate. Join Compassion International with your one-time $40 gift to provide a COVID relief kit to a family in poverty. Text the word GIVE to 83393. That's GIVE to 83393. We've got it. Our WJR Traffic and Weather First. We've got Dana Clark. And we've got our uh, first accident of the morning, Paul, W75 northbound at 375. Accident just reported. Police are on the scene. Slow ride 75 southbound between 12 and 11 mile. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. As we continue to face COVID-19, we're now facing flu season. So to protect us all, let's hit this virus head vaccine. Learn more at michigan.gov slash flu. A message from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Breezy and cooler out there. Which makes the clouds and sun. Mid 50s. The same. All the way down into the low to mid 20s. Sunny and cooler right around 50 Saturday and Sunday. From the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ken Boone on Newstalk 760 WJR. And we're looking at uh, 37 in that ballpark, 37 degrees. Coming up, Daron Levin is going to be with us, our good friend Daron. And we are online all morning long at uh, WJR.com, our WJR Facebook page, uh, all the usual places you can find us, uh, along with 760 on the AM dial. But because of our special Toyota presentation, our roadshow featuring Toyota, you can watch us and you'll see some great uh, video of uh, great work being done by Toyota, including out in Ann Arbor, where they have a, a, a great R&D center, the biggest one outside of Japan, matter of fact. When you choose Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan for your Medicare coverage, it's easy to get the care, tests or treatment you need, whenever you need them. When you need access to care, Blue Cross provides you with more options that work for every lifestyle. Schedule appointments for checkups or routine care at a time that's convenient for you. If you'd like to stay close to home, give the Blue Cross 24-7 nurse line a call or schedule a virtual doctor visit. Whenever you need assistance, Blue Cross will connect you with the information and help you need. With a Blue Cross Medicare plan, you'll never have to go without your medication. Their easy-to-use prescription drug plans allow you to Refill and pick up your medications from your local pharmacy or have them delivered by mail. Get access to the care you need as soon as you need it with Blue Cross, the company more than 500,000 people in Michigan trust for their Medicare coverage. 
Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Confidence comes with every card. See what other members are saying at bcbsm.com slash senior care. That's bcbsm.com slash senior care. Daron Levin coming up. It's 747. Grandma, how come we never had our powwow this year? There's a disease spreading, and if we catch it, it can really hurt us. It's called COVID-19. Is that why I wear my mask when we go to the store? That's exactly why we are wearing our masks everywhere we go. Why can't we just wear masks at the powwow? Well, to help slow the spread, we must watch our distance around people and avoid crowds, both indoors and outside. Okay, I'll just continue to practice my dance in the living room. And I don't mind, Grandma, because I know I'm helping do something good. Yes, very good. You're helping the people. Vaccines are here, but until enough of us are vaccinated, we should always continue to watch our distance, wear a mask, and avoid crowds. Learn more about vaccines and what you can do to help slow the spread at cdc.gov slash coronavirus. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Every year, Exalta releases a new mobility color. And here to announce the 2021 Global Automotive Color of the Year is Exalta's Global Color Manager, Nancy Lockhart. Exalta's 2021 Color of the Year is Electrolyte, a refreshing green-yellow hue with bold contemporary elements that bring style and functionality to life. The color is soothing and calm with an opaque simplicity, yet exciting and fresh with its vibrancy. Visit exalta.com slash color for more information. Exalta Coding Systems, inventors of your favorite color. How did we ever come to the belief that we have no control over the inevitability of heart attack or stroke? that it was somehow predestined in our genes, inherited or inevitable due to some random chance that outsmarted the medical field. We've come to accept these two fallacies, but the fact is that heart attack and stroke are 100% preventable and cardiac disease is reversible. It's not in the genes, it's in your profile. It's time to take charge of your health. Call Dr. Brian Colander at 866-K-O-L-E-N-D-E-R. I'm Jeff Sloan, founder and CEO of StartupNation.com and host of WJR's Business Beat, featuring stories from the entrepreneurial tech and startup communities. Tune in weekdays at 7, 11 a.m. during the Paul W. Smith Show right here on WJR. Whether you are in need of a new laptop, desktop, or work-from-home accessory, refresh with power and performance during Dell Technologies' quarterly business sale and save up to 50% as a Startup Nation member. Visit dell.com forward slash Startup Nation for great solutions and savings today. You could win car washes for an entire year with an unlimited Club Express exterior membership from Jack's Car Wash. Text keyword car wash to 800-859-0957 to be entered. That's keyword car wash as one word with no spaces to 800-859-0957. Standard message and data rates apply for official rules. <coughs> visit WJR.com. Wash your car as often as you want. The Jack's Unlimited Club. Plans start at $22.99. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. Thanks to these wonderful uh, sponsors, Exalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structured Plastics, and Lear Corporation for making it possible for us to do our Road Show and uh, having uh, Toyota now being featured uh, today in a wonderful conversation with Shinichi Yasui, the executive vice president uh, there at Toyota North America, Toyota Motor North America Research and Development, president Toyota Motor Engineering and Manufacturing, and chief technology officer Toyota Motor North America in their Ann Arbor R&D Center. Toyota has a great record of uh, innovation, receiving more U.S. R&D patents than any other automaker in 2020, and, uh, and Yasui-san uh, talking, too, about the investments. Every hour, Toyota invests over a million dollars in emerging or new technology globally. But they, they don't seem to be as invested in or charging forward with the electrification of the automobile, or so it would seem. We have an expert who can talk about that and more. Detroit area journalist, all-around good guy, Daron Levin. And uh, uh, Daron, I haven't talked with you enough during the pandemic. It's certainly nice to see you. And I didn't know you were the editor of Better Investing Magazine. I want to talk about that when we're done talking about Toyota. Sure. 
Sure. Well, good morning, Paul. It's great to be with you, and it's great to see you. I love this StreamYard um, technology you have now that allows me to speak to you and then also to see you on camera and uh, allow you to see me on camera. I hope that's not a bad experience either. <laughs> it's a great experience to see your smiling face. So to, why is Toyota? And I saw another, uh, uh, you sent along another uh, article uh it said, uh, why Japan is holding back as the world rushes toward electric cars. What's your take on that? Well, this was a story in the New York Times. And uh, as usual lately with a lot of stories in the New York Times, it's slightly distorted from an ideological perspective. <laughs> um, I can only put it nicely that way. Uh, Toyota is very, very much in the forefront of electrification. Um, but that phrase needs a little bit more. Uh, nuance and explanation. First of all, you have to go back 25 years. If you remember when when Toyota first brought out the Prius with the uh, gas electric hybrid, people didn't really know what this was, and many in the automobile industry uh, just uh, laughed at it, didn't think it was a good idea. It turns out to be a brilliant mainstream technology. If you remember on the Larry David show, they used to laugh at uh, people who drove a Prius, and now. Uh, the, the gas electric hybrid has saved so much energy in the world and even the engineering community now acknowledges that this was a brilliant move by Toyota. This brings us up to the current day in which Toyota is not rushing to put batteries in all its cars, that is to say to bring out the battery electric vehicle that is totally without gasoline. Their perspective is slightly different. They believe that electrification, full electrification, is going to come in time, but that rushing into batteries right now is probably not the best idea. They, they were very big and still are with the, the hybrid, uh, with the electric and gasoline engine. They kind of put their money there, and they came up with some of the most, uh, 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 the, the, the cleanest vehicles uh, for their time initially. And we have to remember, too, that it was uh, over 10 years ago that Nissan became the first automaker to offer a mass-produced car that ran on batteries alone. Remember the, the Leaf? Which and, and, the, and Leaf is still for sale. Yeah. The, the, the trouble with the Leaf is that Nissan still hasn't made any money with the Leaf. And car companies these days can afford to put billions and billions and billions into these projects because governments are forcing them to and not have consumers buy them in great numbers and at strong prices, because if consumers aren't willing to do that, then the companies are going to lose money and they're going to become wards of the state, as we saw with General Motors in 2009. So Toyota has been so good at doing what they do. Um, who's right? Are they more right or is the rest of the industry more right? I, I sort of put my money on Toyota, to be honest with you. Uh, Isn't that Paul. funny? I mean, how could you not? Uh, I, I think that they're being cautious and they're being very prudent. They're not against the battery electric vehicle. In fact, uh, we just participated in a press conference, I would say, within the last month. And they are going to bring out in the, <clears throat> excuse me, in the coming year, they're going to bring out two battery electric vehicles. But they're not rushing to sort of go full and all out battery. Uh, as they have to in China, because in China, there's a command and control economy. If the government says you're going to buy a battery vehicle, that's what you're going to do. And nobody questions that. Here in the United States, where, where consumers have much more freedom of choice, people either buy or don't buy battery electric vehicles based on their, their preference. And, and the truth is that there are very good cars. There's nothing wrong with a battery electric vehicle. But one of, the, one of their uh, drawbacks at the moment is that there is not a great charging infrastructure in the United States. That is to say, you can find charging stations. They're simply not as numerous or as convenient as using gas stations. And so a lot of people say that while electric, battery electric vehicles are interesting, they're not something that they want to buy at the, at the present moment. That's a problem for an automaker who's selling cars in the present moment. Hmm. I want to ask you about the, uh, unless you have something else you want to say uh, specific to the auto industry or Toyota, I want to ask you about your other hat that you wear as the editor of Better Investing Magazine. 
But do so, you have anything um, else? That, that's an interesting, that, that was an interesting um, opportunity for me, Paul, because I've always been in, interested in business, as you know, and I'm interested in investing. And uh, right around this time last year, when the pandemics began, and all of us who were traveling to uh, automotive events around the year were uh, really forced to stay home, uh, and, and a lot of these, all of these events basically were canceled, uh, I got a call out of the blue from um, a company called the National Association of Investors Corp, which is a nonprofit that uh, has overview and oversight of investment clubs. A lot of people who are interested in picking stocks, uh, instead of playing bridge or uh, getting together socially for that purpose, uh, get together and pick stocks. And so the National Association of Investors Corp has a, as a online tools for figuring out what stocks you might like to, to, to buy and to invest in uh, and to teach you about investing. And then we have a, mat, a monthly magazine as well, and that's uh, the magazine that I edit now. Better Investing Magazine is a real magazine or an online it's, magazine? It's an online magazine and a real magazine, so it's both. Okay. Well, you'll be happy to know that we're talking today uh, with this hat as editor of Better Investing Magazine. Today is the day that Warren Buffett's net worth surpassed $100 billion for the first time since Berkshire Hathaway shares went up to $399,650 wow. a share. And in the sad story of my poor investment past, many years ago, a man named Frank Oxerard at one of the stations I worked at in New York said, Paul, you should buy uh, Berkshire Hathaway. And I, I said, wish I had known you then, Nick, Paul. I would have I, added my voice to what he said. Me, well, I never heard of it, and I looked it up in the in the paper, and it looked like it was selling for like fourteen hundred dollars a share. And I went into him. I said, "There's a misprint here. It says it's fourteen hundred dollars a share. You don't want me to buy a stock that's fourteen hundred dollars a share." And he said, "Buy just one." I didn't do it. He, he was exactly right. He was exactly, exactly right. right. <laughs> that fourteen hundred dollar share is now three hundred ninety nine thousand six hundred and fifty. I'm going to have to start reading Better Investing Magazine, Darone. Would you do that? Yes, Thank sir. You so I much, promise Paul. you that. Especially if you'll send me a free copy. Uh, you, of course, you know I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Darone. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for having me on the show, Paul. Always a pleasure. Seven fifty nine. Likewise. likewise. <laughs> at WJR. This report is sponsored by Compassion International. For kids in poverty around the world, things are still desperate. Join Compassion International with your one-time $40 gift to provide a COVID relief kit to a family in poverty. Text the word GIVE to 83393. That's GIVE to 83393. WJR Traffic and Weather First, Dana Clark. That accident along 75 northbound at 375, that is already clear, seeing a slow drive from at least a Grand River. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Liberty Title, protecting property since 1974, $2 billion a year is lost to cybercrime and identity theft in real estate transactions. Liberty Title ensures and secures your closing dollars, now offering creative closing options to keep you safe, including remote online notarization, curbside, and contactless closings. You have a choice. Choose LibertyTitle.com. Lots of sunshine to uh, kick off the weekend today. A high of 56 tonight, partly cl cloudy or low 24. Sunshine, 38 degrees. I'm Dana Clark, WJR News with Marie is coming up. The Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council present the story of Tom and Levi. Tom is the smartest man I know. He's been a professor at two major universities, He's been a teacher for over 40 years. One day he told me that he was having um, problems in his classes. I think one of the students had asked the question and he didn't remember the answer. And I also noticed that he was letting his class out earlier than they were supposed to let out. And he was telling them that he was doing it as a favor to them. But I think in reality, he just wanted to get out of there. Um, I was really starting to worry because I saw something was wrong. Levi and I talked about how it would change our lives, but he was there beside me, and my love for him was just immense. When something feels different, it could be Alzheimer's. Now is the time to talk. Visit alz.org slash our stories to learn more. A message from the Alzheimer's Association and the Ad Council.
and paid for by OpenShark Concepts. Attention firefighters, members of the military, and airport workers. For decades, first responders and firefighters at military bases and airports used a chemical-based foam to fight fires. Studies have shown that chemicals used to make aqueous film-forming foam, or AFFF, are highly toxic to humans and have been associated with several types of cancer. If you or someone you know was exposed to AFFF and were diagnosed with any of these cancers, including kidney, bladder, prostate, pancreatic, lymphoma, leukemia, testicular, and neuroendocrine, then you you should call us immediately because you may be entitled to significant cash compensation. Call us at 800-931-0987. Our experienced attorneys will fight to get you the compensation you deserve, and you pay nothing unless we get a recovery in your favor. Time is limited to file a claim, so call us now, 800-931-0987. Operators are standing by 24-7, so don't wait. 800-931-0987. That's 800-931-0987. Again, 800-931-0987. WJR Detroit and WDVD HD2 Detroit, the great voice of the Great Lakes, 760 WJR, where Detroit comes to talk. Love it or hate it, daylight saving time goes into effect Sunday morning. Set the clocks ahead an hour. Dr. James Rowley, medical director of the Sleep Disorder Center at DMC, says he thinks daylight savings time, that whole idea, should be retired. Every spring, there's an increase in heart attacks the Monday after um, the time change, the increase in um, car accidents on the Monday after the time change. It's time to change back uh, to just being on standard time all year round. In addition, Dr. Rowley says our bodies can't adjust to the new time ever. It's some evidence that um, our bodies never completely sync with daylight savings time, uh, even after being in it for months. Um, so, uh, so that it is the thought of much of the scientific community, uh, that we should be on standard time. Dr. Raleigh speaking to Paul W. Smith, the coronavirus reaching American shores this time last year. Since then, over half a million people in the U S have died 16,000 here in Michigan. Fox's David Lee Miller looks back at the year. Last March, there was just over a thousand people hospitalized with the virus in the U S two months later, that number spiked to nearly 55,000. Fearing the hospital system would collapse, many states, with the help of the military, built temporary facilities. Stadiums and convention centers were turned into hospitals. Authorities in Florida deployed three emergency field hospitals after seeing the infection rate go up nearly 50 percent. In New York and California, hospital ships were deployed to treat non-COVID cases. To date, more than 3,500 healthcare workers have died from the virus. The group with the highest number of fatalities, nurses. In New York, David Lee Miller, Fox News. President Biden signing the $1.9 billion COVID relief bill yesterday afternoon. $1,400 relief checks could go out to Americans who qualify as early as this weekend. Jury trials are set to resume this month in Oakland County Circuit Court nearly a year after the Michigan Supreme Court stopped them uh, throughout the state and issued other pandemic orders. Court officials working in conjunction with the health department plan to outfit eight courtrooms with plexiglass barriers and distancing stickers on the floors and seating. One of the biggest snowstorms in years, maybe decades, is forecast to blast the Denver metro area this weekend. It's going to be a long-lasting storm. It starts today and ends uh, through Sunday. That could result in snowfall totals nearly nearing two feet in Denver and maybe three feet just west of Denver. Heavy snow also stretching from Wyoming and Nebraska. They could see as much as five feet of snow. Forecasters are using words like blockbuster, blizzard, shocking to describe this weather event. Parts of the regions expecting snow were enjoying 70 degree days earlier this week. The days of using someone's Netflix password, well, their number, the streaming giant testing a new feature with select customers to crack down on password sharing. The trial testing intends to verify users' accounts to stop the spread of passwords among people, including strangers, and to prevent fraud. Checking the world markets this hour, they are mixed. Uh, the Asian markets closed mixed today. In fact, London is down. Futures are down right now. For WJR News, I'm Marie Osborne. Back to Paul W. Smith in two minutes. To stay on top of all the things you need to know about investing, finance, and retirement, tune in to the Rich Paul Show Saturdays at 9 a.m., Mondays at 7 p.m. here on WJR. That's the Rich Paul Show Saturdays at 9 a.m., Mondays at 7 p.m. Confidence. It's important to have when you're on the road. 
Be prepared for whatever the weather brings with a new set of innovative Bridgestone or dependable Firestone tires on your car, truck, SUV, or minivan. So you know you're riding on tires you can trust. Bridgestone and Firestone tires are engineered to give you peace of mind so you can focus on enjoying the journey. Bridgestone is proud to support their OE and aftermarket customers around the globe. Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Hi, Ken and Chuck here, the Inside Outside Guys. You've heard us say many times that painting is not a do-it-yourself project. The folks at CertiPro Painters know a great paint job starts with the prep, making sure the surface will accept the high-quality primers and paints they use. CertiPro Painters uses only professional technicians and will treat your home with the same love and care you expect. And they're trained to keep you, the homeowner, and the painting team safe. And CertiPro Painters experts can help with those tough color choices as well as using the right products for the right application. So if you're looking for a weatherproof paint for the outdoors or a scrubbable finish for the kids' room, they can do it all. On time, every time. Each CertiPro Painters business is independently owned and operated. They are right here in your community. So the next time you're considering new paint anywhere in your home, think CertiPro Painters. Schedule your free estimate at CertiPro.com. That's Certa with a C. Professional painters you can trust. From the advanced composites in the roof of an iconic off-road vehicle to the toughest pickup truck box available, a next-generation electric vehicle battery case or the complete body of a world-class performance car, Continental Structural Plastics is going beyond expectations to reduce vehicle weight, improve performance, and enhance design flexibility. Infinite possibilities, powered by science, brought to you by Continental Structural Plastics, a Tajin Group company. Learn more at cspplastics.com. It's the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Here's Paul. My mic was muted. It's Friday. Yay. Oh, you can say that again. Yay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, no, no. Thank you very much. It's uh, Friday, March 12th, the 71st day of 2021. There are 294 days left in the year. Make each and every day count. Each day is a gift. This is a special one featuring Toyota uh, on our WJR Paul W. Smith show, the WJR Road Show. And uh, this week in conjunction with International Women's Day, Toyota and Lexus celebrating and acknowledging the vital role of women in Toyota and in industry. And Toyota also launched their third season of the Toyota Untold podcast with Two action-packed episodes, including an interview with Trey McDaniel, a Texas-based paramedic who recently helped several people injured in a massive pileup near Fort Worth despite sustaining injuries on his own and totaling his beloved FJ Cruiser. You can check out the Toyota Untold podcast at toyotauntold.com. And today is the last day. In fact, this is the last 50 minutes of opportunity here to get your Paul W. Smith St. Patrick's Souvenir Coffee Mug. For the first time ever, we're making our Paul W. St. Patrick's Souvenir Coffee Mugs available to our dedicated listeners. That would be you. And it's courtesy of our good friends at AbsoPure. AbsoPure Bottled Water and Coffee Service. They will be the official coffee and the official coffee mug of the Paul W. Smith Show. Uh, Usually these are reserved uh, for the uh, folks at the annual St. Patrick's Day event. You are now invited to be there via the computer, online, social media, and 760 on the AM dial. Uh, You could win a set of souvenir set of two of the Paul W. Smith St. Patrick's Celebration coffee mugs, one from our canceled 2020 event. That sounds like a collectible, as well as this year's design. We're selecting 10 listeners each day to win. This is the final day, and there you have to get in before 9 o'clock to be registered. So go to WJR.com, enter for your chance to win at WJR.com, but do it before 9 o'clock this morning. 
And congratulations to yesterday's winners, Anthony B. of Roseville, Daryl W. of White Lake, George E. of Inkster, Glenn D. of Waterford, Eileen M. of Commerce, Judith B. of South Lyon, Judy O. of Bloomfield Hills, Kara F. of Centerline, Patty M. of Howell, and Scott L. of Schwartz Creek. Winners of those uh, wonderful uh, coffee mugs. Coming up at 818, we'll have Greg Russell and Dana Clark in our movie show plus. Uh, and a couple of things he'll be looking at will be uh, Cherry and uh, that uh, Anthony Hopkins uh, new movie, The Father. So that's uh, what he's going to be uh, taking us to now. D Marie, uh, do you watch a lot of movies at home during this pandemic? Yeah. Like, like yeah, a lot we, of us? Yeah, we, we, yeah, we're watching a lot of movies, a lot of, a uh, lot of different things. We found out uh, that Netflix is kind of, uh, taking cracking something down. that, yeah, cracking down, I guess, is a better way. Uh, that, uh, something that apparently was happening all the time. I didn't know till Kim told me that our kids were using our Netflix uh, passwords. <laughs> and then I found out from you guys that everyone's kids basically have been using it. And Netflix is saying, gee, that's cost us several billion dollars. It's time that the kids get their, get their own Netflix. Absolutely. This is, I mean, okay, I hate to admit it, we're doing it at our house as well. And I mean, if you've got young adults, that, that sort of happens. They kind of commandeer the Netflix and all the other uh, viewing options that are available to all of us. And that's what happens. No wonder they were so anxious to help us set up our yes. Netflix. <laughs> yes, that's correct. That's right. That's right. And, you know, uh, so it, 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 it's very interesting. Sometimes you'll start like you can't like we, we started to try to watch a movie. In fact, it just happened the other night and that one somebody else was already watching it. So we couldn't start the movie. Oh, is that what happens? <laughs> yeah. So there were texts going, who's watching this? Are you watching this? Are you why can't we watch this? So, you know, because I, I don't follow any of this stuff. And I was the last to find out that our kids, after you guys all said your kids were using it when we talked about it earlier, I said, I have no idea. And Kim said, yes, they have been. Now she says when she opened the Netflix account in the very beginning, they gave her additional users besides the two of us free. Yes, meaning absolutely. That that four additional people were actually a part of the plan. Yes, that is that is correct. So that we weren't correct. doing anything illegal. No, no, not not technically. No, but the, you know they want everyone now to be living under the same roof. All right. In order to share the password, they want everyone living under the same roof. That's kind and of. I don't want the kids. I don't want the kids moving back. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. So the, the kids move back to use the Netflix or mom and dad help pay that Netflix bill. I know which one's winning on that one. Yeah, I think we all do. Yeah, I agree. It is uh, 815 at WJR. This report is brought to you by Positive Coaching Alliance. Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA, a national nonprofit, offers more than a 1,000 free online resources for youth and high school sports coaches, parents, students, and administrators. Visit PCADevZone.org. Let's uh, check in our WJR traffic and weather first, the one and only Dana Clark. Not looking too bad out there, Paul W. A couple of spots are moving slow, 75 southbound between 12 and 11 mile. Also seeing delays if you're traveling northbound 75 between 8 mile and 696. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Window World. Call Window World at 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW. For your window door or siding project, get 0% financing for 60 months. Window World is America's largest exterior replacement remodeler and a trusted team partner of WJR's Inside Outside Guys. Call 1-800-NEXT-WINDOW or visit windowworlddetroit.com. Mix of clouds and sunshine today. Breezy and cooler mid-50s. Fair to partly cloudy skies. Cold tonight, 23. Sunny and cooler this weekend. Highs both days around 50. From the Weather Channel, I'm meteorologist Ken Boone on News Talk 760 WJR. There were uh, a sunny, beautiful, but 39 degrees, which is a heck of a lot different than it was this time uh, yesterday as we started climbing up from 60. We hit 70 again. Kind of spoiled us. It will come back again, I believe. 
Well, no, I promise it will come back. The, the warmer temperatures will come back. Now, I know some of you, like me, had never bet on golf before. I mean, I mean, unless you're on the golf course, and I just generally hand my money to the other golfers before we even start. But I want to tell you about the under par bonus on FanDuel Sportsbook. My, my only sportsbook is FanDuel Sportsbook. Uh, FanDuel is hooking you up all weekend long during the Players' Championship, and best of all, New and existing users can cash in whether your golfer wins or loses. Now, here's how it works, interestingly enough. You'll get up to $5 in site credit for each stroke your golfer finishes the tournament under par. Spin the under par wheel to determine your bonus. All you have to do is bet $50 or more on the outright winner. Just be sure to get your bet in before the players, ship, uh, players Championship tees off. Well, it teed off yesterday. So you still can change your bets and do some other things. That's something extra special about FanDuel Sportsbook, the official betting operator of the PGA Tour. And that means there are even more ways for you to win all tournament long, even if you're a, a late comer here. But I do ask that you do me one very special FanDuel Sportsbook favor. Sign up with promo code Paul W. That's one word, Paul W., so that they know I sent you. That's FanDuel Sportsbook promo code Paul W. 21 and over and present in Michigan. First online real money wager only. Site credit is non-withdrawable and expires in 14 days. Restrictions apply. See full terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problems? Call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. How did we ever come to the belief that we have no control over the inevitability of heart attack or stroke, that it was somehow predestined in our genes, inherited or inevitable due to some random chance that outsmarted the medical field? We've come to accept these two fallacies, but the fact is that heart attack and stroke are 100% preventable and cardiac disease is reversible. It's not in the genes, it's in your profile. It's time to take charge of your health. Call Dr. Brian Colander at 866-K-O-L-E-N-D-E-R. Ad paid for by Open Shark Concepts. Attention firefighters, members of the military, and airport workers. For decades, first responders and firefighters at military bases and airports used a chemical-based foam (laughs) to fight fires. Studies have shown that chemicals used to make aqueous (laughs) film-forming foam, or AFFF, are highly toxic to humans and have been associated with several types of cancer. If you or someone you know was exposed to AFFF and were diagnosed with any of these cancers, including kidney, pancreatic, lymphoma, leukemia, testicular, and neuroendocrine, then you you should call us immediately because you may yet. be entitled to significant yes. cash compensation. Like, call oh, us at 800-931-0987. Okay. Our so experienced it was, it attorneys was, will fight to get you the laughed, compensation you deserve, like, and you pay nothing mm. unless we get a recovery in your favor. Okay. Time is limited to I'm file a claim, so it. call us now. 800-931-0987. Operators are standing by 24 seconds, so don't wait. 800-931-0987. Again, 800-931-0987. Now this is Cherry, that's a series, right? The lineage right? of proven no, performance. It's a, a collaborative okay. approach and strategic it's locations it's across the globe. Aria is crafting the newest lines of automotive, they're, they're acoustic, and textile solutions. From acoustic products that uh, reduce cabin noise to a wide hmm. range of flooring and other interior solutions that provide luxury, durability, and comfort. Aria is creating the next wave of automotive innovation. To find out more, visit ariasolutions.com. Well, the funny part is, I was welcome back to the WJR Road Show with nice Paul W. Smith. We talked about the Billy Today, movie. featuring Toyota. After this stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Lear. Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. 8.20 on this beautiful Friday morning, and it being Friday, you know what that means. It's time for. <laughs> Greg Russell and movie, 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 show, 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 show. Plus, plus, plus. come on, Paul W. That's a plus, plus, plus. Oh, oh, my God. Too much going on. I almost forgot to make the plus sign. Right, here we go. We're going to the movies, and that means uh, going to the other room or just uh, <laughs> sitting where we are and watching movies. Uh, but uh, right, right there, Greg uh, discovers, uh, checks out. And, and lets us know. I, you guys were talking right up to the lead, and I heard Billy Holiday, but I, uh, you already talked about the Billy Holiday movie. Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, 
that uh, Dana, I think you were saying you still need to see. I that. still need to see it. Um, but yeah. you did see uh, coming it, to America. Coming to America. Yes. And it unfortunately, Greg was right mm, about his, his review. Swipe left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad I saw it. It was good to see everybody. I well, want, that was I a want to, family reunion, yes. <laughs> yeah, I do want to see it just because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, mm -hmm. I like Eddie Murphy and I want yes. it to do well and mm -hmm. whatever. All right, uh, what about the movies for today, Greg? Well, we've got uh, two out of the three we're talking about. Very good movies, very well acted, but both very, I don't want to say depressing, but I mean, just, you know, uh, those type of movies. Well, I guess we'll start with the one, Cherry, first, mm -hmm. that stars Tom Holland. And, you know, he's a guy, he plays Spider-Man, uh, has been in several other movies, very good actor. And it's all about this guy who went into the military, uh, just got out, got into the wrong crowd, you know, his old friends from high school and all like that. Mm. And he just begins to spiral down. He meets this very nice young lady who's a school teacher. And, you know, I, like normally you think if you meet somebody who is, you know, doing something on the up and up, you're going to follow them. But the thing is, he wound up bringing her down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. So, let's, yeah. Uh, let's, let's listen to a little of this uh, seemingly very depressing movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm 23 years Jerry. old, and sometimes I wonder if life was wasted on me. Sometimes I feel like I've already seen everything that's going to happen. <laughs> and it's a nightmare. I don't imagine that anyone goes in for a robbery if they're not in some kind of desperation. I've been at this a while now, and it's no secret what my face looks like. Get on the ground! One thing about robbing banks is you're mostly robbing women, so the last thing you want to be is rude. Ma'am, it's nothing personal. He turns to a life of crime? Yeah. You know, uh, winds up, because I, I think this is even in the uh, uh, trailer, so I'm not giving it Okay. Anymore. But winds up, you know, like robbing banks and doing all this mm. stuff. And it just, it's just this complete spiral down where you just kind of watch it and just kind of go, I can't watch. But okay, You're I like, not Spider-Man. Right, <laughs> right. But, you know, if you watch it to the end, then I, I you know, don't want to give that part away. But yeah, just watch it all the way to the end. Yeah, this, <laughs> this uh, is Apple TV. Yeah, a little, yeah. Uh, a little uh, okay. uh, depressing. Maybe uh, is it uplifting at the end, or is it depressing all the way through? <laughs> uh, no, you, you'll at least feel better. Yeah, at the okay. end, I'll put it that way. Because I'm just saying, I'm looking out for my listeners because it's bad enough they have to go through changing their clocks ahead an hour, right? Bed Saturday. Oh God, and feeling, right? And then feeling worn out and tired, and you, when you're tired, or at least when I'm tired, I'm not a, as able to handle those emotional things. Mm -hmm. Right. I want to be on an emotional roller coaster. Right. Um, but anyway, all right. So uh, what are we giving this one? What you know, it really, honestly, it's very well acted. So, you know, a three out of our four, you know, it's a top movie. But again, like we've said on uh, about other movies, you've got to be in the mood, you know, to For cherry see this. Tom know? Holland on yeah. Apple TV. Yep. All right. Uh, next up is. Uh, Anthony Hopkins, and we've yeah. seen a lot of uh, promos for this. The Father, let's listen. Everything all right? Who are you? Actually, it's me, Paul. Who? I live here. What is this nonsense? Anne? It's me. Ah, there she is. Your father seemed a bit confused. Something wrong? Where's Anne? Sorry? Anne, where is she? I'm here. There's something funny going on. Okay, his name is Paul, first of all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny enough. There you That's go. Funny. So, what's and happening? I think, I think Paul W. You mentioned this before because I, I talk about how my mom at the end, you know, had mm -hmm. dementia for about the last five years of her life, and I think you took care of a family member as well. Well, my mother. Let me make it clear because uh, we'll get uh, jumped on because she's online all the time. She's very good. She's ninety five. Oh God, bless Just her. Turned ninety five, and there is no thank God. Mm -hmm. uh, no dementia whatsoever in she's her. She's with it. She oh, is right. totally she's with happening. it. She's online. <laughs> she's on Facebook. She's doing stuff I never do uh, on social media. But who did I deal with? With Well, my father, uh, near the end of his life, uh, we never called it Alzheimer's. I don't know if we ever diagnosed it, but he definitely was uh, affected. Yeah. Well, that's that's why this is that what's happening here. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, for a happy movie. Right. Jeez. And for anybody who's ever gone through it, it's kind of like very therapeutic because you watch it 
And, and it's so funny, you know, like when you're going through it in real life, you think you're the only one. Mm -hmm. But then you see movies and talk to friends and it's kind of like everybody who's been in that situation has gone through the same thing. Right. And that's what this movie is about. Where, again, like we said, you know, de depressing, but it, with Anthony Hopkins, I mean, oh, yeah. he's, so good. Is, he's like 83 years old right now and still just, you know, right there with it. And Olivia Coleman, who plays his daughter. Uh, so, again, very well acted, but also another movie that you've got to be you know, kind of like in the mood to watch. Well, is it me or are a lot of these movies coming out with this kind of theme? Didn't Stanley Tucci have one mm. recently that we talked yeah. about there? And there was another one. It seems like back to back, they decided, okay, let's make a whole slew of these type. Everybody's movies. depressed. Let's. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and and also it now it's something with like dementia and Alzheimer's where people are no longer afraid to talk about it. You know, mm -hmm. back in the day, remember the movie um, Soul Food? Mm-hmm where mm -hmm. they had the uncle who they just kept up in the right. room upstairs yeah. because he had that going on. But back in the day, it was like, just put him in the closet. Don't right. Talk Isn't it time him. for your nap? Right. <laughs> and you leave him there. Where now we're more open, you know, to talk about, you know, these type of situations in our lives. So mm -hmm. it know, does happen. Um, and uh, Anne is pointing out that we might have talked about Kim's dad. Um, mm. A sweet father who passed wow. away some years ago and because I don't remember our conversation about that but right. um, it, there's something else here a note Greg that says for St. Patrick's weekend the yes. special showing at the Imagine in Canton of the St. Patrick's parade from a couple of years ago that's right St. Patrick's Day is the 60th annual parade and like you said it's going to be Sunday March 14th uh, starting at 2 p.m. at the Imagine Canton. And, you know, since there wasn't a parade last year and there won't be one this year, it's so it's a video from the one two years ago. And actually, we've got the star of the film here with us right now, Paul W. Oh, Smith. So yeah, wait. <laughs> what the? Yeah. What the? Uh, you should I, be getting residuals. I, yeah, well, I did get a residual for that film I was in. Remember that yeah. film, Eloise? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. Yeah, I, yeah. In this, I have to report this on my taxes. I got a check for 28 cents. Yay. Whoa, you're me for my movies. Great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not making that up. Do you know how much it must have cost them to send me a 28 cent check? More than that. Right. Oh, my yeah. God. A lot more than that. So I'm in this, uh, you know, and I, uh, it's not, it was, their parade is not really on St. Patrick's Day. So we call it the St. Patrick's Parade. There's a right. little subtle thing there. So, and we didn't do it the last, uh, this year or last year. Mm -hmm. So they dug one up from a couple of years ago when I was uh, emceeing the- uh, Yeah. Yep, and it's gonna be at, at the Imagine. And uh, like you said, it's because since they weren't able to have it last year or this year, just to give people a nice flavor feeling, you know, about it and all like that. Had I known I was going to be on one of those uh, Paul Glantz big fabulous oh, yes. things, oh, I would have yeah. put makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get the green beer too? Ooh, that would Ooh. be so good. That would be great. I thought about you because I thought about you and I and that uh, Imagine Popcorn. Yeah. So, uh, you should go, that. Paul W. I love that popcorn. Yeah, I should go. They should have you come like make an appearance and introduce it. I should do an introduction. Yeah. 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 Paul Glantz, yeah. if you're listening, I'm available. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and Dana and I will show up and be on the red carpet with you. Yes. yes. Come, yes. please be on the red yes. carpet with me. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's going to do it for this. Uh, what did we give the the father? We is good. Oh, another, yeah. Another yeah. top notch movie. He likes it very right. well acted, but again, be in the mood, you know, to check mm -hmm. both of those movies out. The father. Nick and Russell Russia. and Dana Clark and. Movie, 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 movie. Show, 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 show. Plus, plus, plus. We got two out of them. We got it there on a Friday morning at 8.30 on WJR. This report is sponsored by the Ad Council. Okay, dads, it's time to do the Cabbage Patch, the Running Man, or something more contemporary, the Floss. Dance like a dad. Learn more at fatherhood.gov. Sponsored by the Ad Council. Coach Tom Izzo coming up right out of the news, which is coming up right out of our WJR Traffic and Weather First and Dana Clark. 
Paul W. looking at an accident along 696 eastbound after Van Dyke. That collision is blocking the right shoulder. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel, sponsored by Clarkson Window and Door. Over 31 years in business, over 450 combined years of experience installing windows. Trust the specialists at Clarkson Window and Door. Act now to take advantage of 31% off install windows, doors, and garage doors. 248-338-6781 or ClarksonWindow.com. Lots of sun sunshine to kick off the weekend currently sunny 39 degrees a high of 56 today i'm dana clark wjr news with marie osborne is coming up the paul w smith show's weekly dealer download is powered by bill brown ford hi i'm matt darko from bill brown ford in livonia the two and four door ford bronco suv's patented off-road modular design offers a user-friendly platform that can be stripped to its base structure so that alternate doors fenders and a grill can be added in one afternoon. So by the following day, a whole new Bronco SUV can be reconfigured for another new adventure with a different body and roof setup. So whether your goal is to build the ultimate desert racer or a rock crawling rig, the Bronco modular design provides ease and confidence to create a 4x4 that is unique to our customers, said Bronco Design Chief Paul Raff. Modifications to prep a Bronco for a fun-filled open-air afternoon can be completed in a matter of minutes by hand with adjustments to roof panels, rear quarter windows, rear hardtop, and fenders all possible in just a few minutes. For more details, call 734-399-4244 or visit BillBrownFord.com. This report is sponsored by Compassion International. For kids in poverty around the world, things are still desperate. Join Compassion International with your one-time $40 gift to provide a COVID relief kit to a family in poverty. Text the word GIVE to 83393. That's GIVE to 83393. With more than a half a million people dead due to coronavirus in the United States, President Biden taking a look at both the present and the future during a national address last night. Fox's Lauren Blanchard's in Washington. President Biden told the nation by May 1st, he wants all adults to be eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. That doesn't mean everyone's going to have that shot immediately, but it means you'll be able to get in line beginning May 1. His administration's hope is by the 4th of July, families and friends will be able to gather safely. That will make this Independence Day something truly special. President Biden also laid out his initiatives to safely reopen schools, expand testing and staff more vaccination centers and provide more help for people to find and register for the vaccine. Republicans say where we are today is thanks to former President Trump. Michigan reporting 2,091 new COVID and 23 Uh, new COVID cases and 23 deaths. The state also reporting that 12% of those 16 and older in Michigan have now been vaccinated. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo facing an impeachment investigation following allegations of sexual harassment and his alleged role in underreporting nursing home deaths during the coronavirus pandemic. Fox's Carly Shimkus reporting. Governor Cuomo's political career already on the ropes and it took another striking blow yesterday. State lawmakers opening an impeachment investigation against him. It would examine both the sexual harassment claims and nursing home cover-up scandal. The decision comes as 120 New York lawmakers are calling on the governor to resign or be impeached. That number includes 65 Democrats. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio also doubling down on his call for Cuomo to go. General Motors shutting down its Lansing Grand River assembly plant starting on Monday due to a shortage of computer chips. The plant makes the Chevy Camaro, the Cadillac CT4, CT5 also. They'll remain closed until the end of March. An industry-wide shortage of computer chips has caused valuable production time for all of Detroit's automakers as well as others. Another automaker stepping into the electric vehicle market, Honda planning to sell two all electric SUVs in the U.S. for the 2024 model year. Oakland County Sheriff's Department reminding everybody again that the warm temperatures of recent days is making for very dangerous ice on area lakes. Three calls for them yesterday when people fell into lakes in Oakland County. In one case, there was a 71-year-old man and a 69-year-old man who admitted that they were walking out on the ice to go fishing. A former substitute teacher who was living in his car outside of Los Angeles in the town of Fontana got an unforgettable gift from a former student on Thursday. 
Fox's Coco McAvoy reports. For his 77th birthday, Jose Villaruel was in for an unexpected surprise. An afternoon of celebration. He was a substitute teacher, but last year he resigned after schools shifted to distance learning. He started living out of his blue Thunderbird. My body has ad been adapted to all the bumps and things from the sea. It didn't sit well with Stephen Nava, so Nava did something about it. He shared Mr. V's story all over social media to raise money and as a birthday gift. <laughs> Nava gifted Mr. V with a $27,000 check. WJR News Time. 836 and checking the world markets this morning. The Asian markets were mixed at the close today. London down, the Dow futures uh, down. For WJR News, I'm Marie Osborne. More of the Paul W. Smith Show coming your way in two minutes. Now WJR Health Watch. Here's Dick Hafner. I'm tired. We're all tired of coronavirus, COVID fatigue. There are many symptoms. Headache migraine, chronic uh, physical fatigue. People have had trouble sleeping, but also irritability. People feeling, are feeling exhausted about work. They're withdrawing from work, but also the sense that I have a lack of control over the things that are happening around me. Dr. Lars Johnson is an assistant professor of psychology at Wayne State University, one of many experts watching the societal fatigue and the toll it is taking. A lot of people have been drinking quite a bit more uh, than they were in the past. There have been some reports that suggest that recreational drug use has increased. For many, the novelty of working at home has worn off. And when people are really high in what we call segmentation preferences, meaning that they like to keep that separation between home and work, it's changed the nature of what home means. The fatigue can erode relationships. And this anxiety can chip away at those things. That would make it harder for us to socialize with others. So what do we do about it? Find things that are important to you to do and do them. Create segmentation at home. Figure out a way to recover from the daily strain that you're facing. And, and don't feel guilty. Wayne State psychology professor Lars Johnson reminds us about the connection between getting exercise, a healthy diet, and mental health to keep you from feeling... I'm so tired. I'm Dick Hafner for WJR Health Watch. When it comes to home improvements, everyone always says they want to get three estimates, which makes sense. I mean, you want to get the best price, right? Just call Performance Remodeling. We make it easy by giving you up to three estimates on whatever it is you need, windows, roofing, or siding. That way you can see exactly how much it will cost to use different materials, styles, and manufacturers. That's right. One call, three window estimates, or three roofing estimates, or three siding estimates from one company. We listen to what you need, show you multiple options, and give you three estimates right there on the spot. And don't worry, unlike some companies, our salespeople are not pushy. There's no arm twisting, there's no lame, one-size-fits-all solutions. Instead, we show you three estimates, then sit back and let you decide. So call Performance Remodeling at 586-540-6000 or online at windowsroofingsiding.com. And right now we're offering six years no interest on all windows, roofing, and siding. Six years. So call 586-540-6000 or online at windowsroofingsiding.com. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. All righty, um, 8 to 40, one of the tough interviews that we uh, have to do is, uh, is uh, whenever we have to talk to a coach who's on the losing end of a game, but this one was especially painful uh, with uh, MSU basketball up against Maryland, uh, Maryland 68, Michigan State 57. The headline in the Detroit News, Spartans punked. Uh, Steve Courtney is here and Coach Izzo is here, and we're going to have a conversation about it and dig ourselves out of this one. Stevie? All right, Dub. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Well, uh, the start couldn't have been better for our Spartans in Indianapolis yesterday, building a 12-point lead over the Mar Maryland Terrapins as they try to avenge that February 28th loss on the road. Uh, an amazing start, really, but that would lead to a four-point halftime deficit 
And then the Michigan State shooting was ice cold, to say the least. And then there were some other issues along the way. That's where we begin our conversation. Coach, good morning. Morning, Coach. Well, guys, uh, you know, it's, it, uh, I'm out for a walk. The sun's still shining. And then I said it's been a weird year. But, you know, we couldn't have felt better about how we got off. We hadn't been getting off the good starts. And we had a game plan in to go inside a little more and get the ball out. And in all honesty, we didn't score a bucket. And the last six minutes, we were just awful to half. Or we had some turnovers. But um, we still shot 46%. You know, for the game, we shot 41 or 42. They shot 38. So it wasn't like we lost it. We lost it in two areas. They had 27 points off our turnover star two. And and they, uh, they're they a 68% three throw shooting team. At their place, they were 24 at 25. And yesterday, they were 22 at 28. And I think we made nine or something. And that was the difference in the game. And, uh, you know, as as I said, I did a poor job. Uh, I thought we, you know, I did, Joshua's been struggling a little bit. You know, we didn't have him practice, and he just seems to step slow. So, who knows? Maybe a couple days more here will get us refreshed. And uh, at times we played pretty good. At times uh, we did the things we want, and uh, we all got frustrated. Uh, and watching the film, there was yeah. a good reason to get frustrated. So I'm. I'm, uh, I mean, with uh, some bad play, bad calls, bad coaching. <laughs> well, and there's the elephant in the room there, <clears throat> Coach. I mean, uh, there were 44 personal fouls called in this tilt. And uh, obviously, uh, you were frustrated uh, getting teed up. Uh, that one on the other uh, bench as well, Mark Turgeon getting teed up. Uh, look, everybody obviously loves watching college basketball, in particular this time of year. But sometimes it is so very, very difficult based on the way, and I, and I know you're not going to be able to expound on this, Tom, but based on the way the game is being called, um, it is so very hard to get a flow going. And yeah. therein lies a problem with this game, isn't it? Yeah, I, I am concerned about it. You know, I don't know if it's just the officials or, you know, maybe everybody's had a COVID year or if it's, you know, uh, some of the rules that have been put in, you know, like yesterday, the MVP of the season for me, I told you, was the monitor. And we didn't use the monitor yesterday. So um, that didn't win any votes yesterday. But but um, the consistency is what everybody looks for. And we were, you know, uh, it's just not very consistent. And in the huddles, you know, players frustrated. And so that's why I, now Mark Turgeon didn't deserve his technical those are what you call call fouls, three, four fouls at the end of the game to try to balance it and give the other guy a tee. I mean, I almost went down to him and hugged him and said, hey, so. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't deserve that. That was, right. that was the stick it up my, uh, my uh, backside. But, uh, um, you know, I, I probably deserved mine, only not to the guy I got it from, but I probably deserved mine. And, uh, and uh, you know, part of it was because I was trying to stick up for some players that I could see were frustrated, but part of it was just didn't feel it was right. All that being said, we did get punked and physically handled. Uh, their guards were, were uh, you know, went at us, and uh, we didn't stop them. I think we got to the point, you know, Hauser had so many fouls for doing, uh, you know, and then you start figuring out how to guard somebody. So... Our size or lack thereof, as far as at the guard spot, um, hurt us some. But uh, hey, they played well. They deserved to win. It shouldn't have been marred by the uh, the the, the uh, outburst by me. But I uh, yeah, you you don't. It doesn't it, happen very often. It wasn't often, a one you? game thing. Let me just it, say it, that it, it wasn't it, a one game thing. It's your first technical foul in over a year. You're not a guy who goes running around getting. Uh, no, I don't get over. many. You know, I went. I think in the last six years, I've had two. So, uh, wow. But that's pretty good, you know. Yeah, uh, you're a man under control. What can we say? Man um, under control. But uh, you know what, guys? We got to play better, too. Uh, so let's go to us. And, uh, you know, we're really moving the ball. We made 10 of our first 15 shots. Like I said, going going in the last seven minutes of the first half, we, we barely made a basket. And we, uh, we still shot 46%. Uh, you know, they shot 30-some. So... Uh, we, we did the job, uh, as far as in some ways there were, there were just some, some incidents that, uh, we missed some good shots. Uh, we felt like there was some critical calls that, 
put us back a little bit and uh and they they played good i mean they did what they had to do their their guards took over the game and you know uh to think about this though here's a team that shoots 68 percent for the year and i think i think in our two games they were like 46 for 52 you know they're shooting about 85 90 percent now you guys are going to hang out uh, in Indianapolis. Obviously, selection Sunday uh, coming up, and uh, by all accounts, Coach, uh, the Spartans are in. Many looking at maybe a ten seed. Is that uh, what you're looking at? You know, that's what they say. I could see us even dropping to an eleven, which wouldn't bother me. You know, you don't want to be in the eight nine game necessarily. But you know what? I'm going to be happy to be in, and I, I think if we get in. And we can refresh. I mean, we've already proven we're good enough to beat just about anybody. But we're right. also, our margin for error is slim. So, yeah, hanging out here is a bad word. Where I am on a walk today and tomorrow, but then when Sunday comes, we're not even allowed outside. So, I'll be like, uh, you know, I'm going to, you know, if you need to call me, call me. I don't want to do a three-hour <laughs> interview. I'll be in my room. We'll bear that in mind, Coach. Thanks so much. Good luck to you. Hey, I hope best, Tom. out well for our Spartans. Bye-bye. God bless you, Coach Tom Izzo and Steve Courtney as we uh, check business here at 847. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Save up to $300 on top-rated brands like Sealy and Sleepy's at Mattress Firm right now. And you can get a free adjustable base when you spend $6.99 or more to elevate your sleep every night. Save big. Sleep better. Shop the semi-annual sale now. Ryan Eustace here, Senior Vice President of Automated Driving, Toyota Research Institute, TRI, coming up next. Right now, it's our WJR Traffic and Weather First and Dana Clark. Well, Paul, W seeing a disabled vehicle 94 eastbound after 26 mile. It is blocking the right shoulder. 696 eastbound after Van Dyke. A wreck there is blocking the right shoulder as well. Now, WJR Weather First from the Weather Channel. Mix of clouds and sunshine for us today. Breezy and a little... Still 10 degrees above average. Fair to partly cloudy skies tonight, cold 23. It'll be even cooler this weekend, lots of sunshine. Temperatures a few degrees on either side of 50 both days. From the Weather Channel, I'm Ken Boone on East Talk 760 WJR. 42 degrees at 848. When you choose Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan for your Medicare coverage, it's easy to get the care, tests, or treatment you need whenever you need them. When you need access to care, Blue Cross provides you with more options that work for every lifestyle. Schedule appointments for checkups or routine care at a time that's convenient for you. If you'd like to stay close to home, give the Blue Cross 24-7 nurse line a call or schedule a virtual doctor's visit. Whenever you need assistance, Blue Cross will connect you with the information and help you need. With a Blue Cross Medicare plan, you'll never have to go without your medication. Their easy-to-use prescription drug plans allow you to refill and pick up your medications from your local pharmacy, or you can have them delivered by mail. Get access to the care you need as soon as you need it with Blue Cross, the company more than 500,000 people in Michigan trust for their Medicare coverage. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Confidence comes with every card. See what other members are saying at bcbsm.com slash senior care. bcbsm.com slash senior care. 849 at 760 WJR. Confidence. It's important to have when you're on the road. Be prepared for whatever the weather brings with a new set of innovative Bridgestone or dependable Firestone tires on your car, truck, SUV, or minivan. So you know you're riding on tires you can trust. Bridgestone and Firestone Tires are engineered to give you peace of mind so you can focus on enjoying the journey. Bridgestone is proud to support their OE and aftermarket customers around the globe. Bridgestone, solutions for your journey. Aria is proud to support WJR's Roadshow with Paul W. Smith every Friday this month. Hear all about the future of mobility and the great new vehicles you'll be seeing on the road today, tomorrow, and into the future. Aria builds quiet, comfortable, durable into your vehicle. Every year, Exalta releases a new mobility color. And here to announce the 2021 Global Automotive Color of the Year is Exalta's Global Color Manager, Nancy Lockhart. 
Exalta's 2021 Color of the Year is Electrolyte, a refreshing green-yellow hue with bold contemporary elements that bring style and functionality to life. The color is soothing and calm with an opaque simplicity, yet exciting and fresh with its vibrancy. Visit exalta.com slash color for more information. Exalta Coding Systems, inventors of your favorite color. Did you know close to 41% of Americans continue to work remotely? As many of us are working from home, the need for an office or expanded living space has become a necessity. Well, at Motor City Floors and Coatings, they make your basement or garage concrete floor usable. I've seen the results of the Motor City Floors and Coatings' own innovative concrete coating system. It is four times stronger than epoxy, making it more durable and longer lasting, and usually can be installed in just a day. They also can help your business with the industrial concrete polishing system they have. They can polish your industrial floor, making your business operate more efficiently and keeping your employees safe. When looking to create that expanded living space in your basement and garage or update your industrial business's concrete floor, call Motor City Floors and Coatings, 248-613-5888, 248-613-5888, or visit MotorCityFloorsAndCoatings.com. Welcome back to the WJR Road Show with Paul W. Smith. Today, featuring Toyota. This stop on the Road Show is presented by Axalta, Aurea, Bridgestone, Continental Structural Plastics, and Lear. Once again, Paul W. Smith. And we can't thank those sponsors enough so much for our uh, Road Show, the Paul W. Smith Show, this uh, week featuring Toyota, our friends at Toyota. We finish up with Ryan Eustace, Senior Vice President of Automated Driving, Toyota Research Institute. Ryan, nice meeting you. Hi, Paul. Thanks for having me. Well, it's our pleasure. Uh, fill us in on what the Toyota Research Institute is and how it fits into the Toyota that we know and love. Sure, great. Yeah, and so the Toyota Research Institute was founded in 2016 here in North America to be explorers for Toyota in terms of discovery and creating new capabilities that Toyota will need in some of its future products. In particular, uh, we have a focus on artificial intelligence and how we can use it to benefit society. So um, I lead the automated driving team uh, within the Toyota Research Institute, which is one of our core research pillars. Uh, some of the other pillars include robotics um, and also other human amplification technology. Um, we have an office here in Ann Arbor, which I lead, as well as offices in Silicon Valley and in Boston. Um, each of these offices is strategically located near a major research university. And so here in Ann Arbor, uh, we work closely actually with the University of Michigan on some of our uh, projects. Um, and ultimately, you know, what TRI is trying to do is you know, we're trying to identify what's next uh, for Toyota through innovation. What is next then? Um, you have kind of a different approach to automated driving than some other automakers how is it different in fact yeah thanks for that question paul um yeah so uh, you know we think of actually a, a dual path approach to this automation where uh, fundamentally our number one priority is really improving driver safety secondly it's also to increase access and uh, offer the convenience and mobility to those say that cannot drive so a lot of the, the industry today you probably hear a lot of buzz about you know full automation and like what would be called the se level four or five where the car is doing the driving task for you, and the human is really just a passenger sitting back uh, and um, being chauffeured. Now, uh, we're developing that same kind of core technology. However, uh, our approach is that we we want to bring it to market sooner with what we call Toyota Guardian, which is an active safety approach where the human is still uh, responsible for the driving task. Uh, so you're still kind of hands on the wheel, eyes on the road. But how do we use artificial intelligence to partner with the human? You know, AI doesn't get drowsy, it doesn't get distracted, um, but fundamentally think about how can we work with the human to have a Toyota vehicle that, you know, fundamentally don't leave the road, don't hit things, and don't get hit. And we think that by uh, using this AI technology and bringing it to market in this way, uh, that we can really make an impact in trying to save as many lives as possible, as soon as possible. I'm not going to drag you into it, but I have criticized certain car makers, and everyone knows who they are, who have pretended or led their customers to believe they have fully automated cars. And we've seen the pictures of guys sleeping behind the wheel as they're going down the expressway. Let's make it real clear. And I know Toyota would never do that, but mm -hmm. there is no such thing as a fully automated car yet that's on the road. And it's criminal, in my opinion, 
for somebody to lead people to believe that to be the case. So with your honest assessment, what would you say, Ryan, would be when we would see a fully automated vehicle? I think a fully automated vehicle, you know, the SE level four uh, definition, um, it's probably not going to be a vehicle that you would own, uh, at least in the near term. It would be more like a, say, a robot taxi service. And actually, there's some of these kind of pilot deployments happening in industry today. Um, but those operate within a restricted uh, design domain where basically um, we've already kind of pre-mapped the roads in advance. We already know the pickup and destination. There's a lot of information that kind of goes into it so that we have a high confidence that the vehicle, you know, can get you from A to B in terms of your destination. So you're going to see that in what we call as a mobility as a service. It's not a car that you own, but I think of it as like a, a robot taxi that you dial up and, then, and it comes and picks you up and takes you. Best answer. Best answer yet. And so is that the kind of automated driving research you're doing here in Michigan? So, yes. Yeah, so we do have a research fleet of vehicles here in Michigan that are doing that same sort of, you know, uh, driving for you on public roads around uh, Ann Arbor. You can see our cars drive around. However, what's really unique about our approach is we're using the same core of that technology, Paul, but we're trying to bring it really into the personally owned vehicle. You know, we want to have a technology that goes, uh, uh, spans from the Toyota, the Lexus lines, but really to think about, again, not, not, not eliminating the human from the driving task, but how do we make you superhuman? So how do we use that same AI technology uh, to be fundamentally understanding the road, understanding the drivers and pedestrians? And again, to think about, you know, don't leave the road, don't hit things, don't get hit. How can we really try to build the world's, you know, one of the world's most safest cars? Right. It's good to know it's happening and it's happening here in Michigan and it's happening with Toyota. Senior Vice President of Automated Driving, Toyota Research Institute, TRI, Ryan Eustace. Thanks for joining us. Keep up the good work. Right. Thanks so much, Paul. It's our pleasure as we have featured Toyota this morning and happily so in the WJR Roadshow and the Paul W. Smith Show. Thanks to Lear Corporation, uh, Continental Structural Plastics, Bridgestone, Aurea, and Exalta. And thanks to Ann Thomas, Brian Morton, Marie Osborne, Dana Clark, Kim Smith, and you. You're a part of the team, too. You're why we are here. Don't forget, spring forward. Tomorrow night when you go to bed, set your clocks ahead an hour, and this weekend, change the batteries in your smoke detectors and your carbon monoxide detectors. And finally, go blue, go Michigan, eat Maryland today at 11.30 this morning, matter of fact. Make it a great uh, rest of the weekend, take care of yourselves, each other, and stand by for news and the Frank Beckman Show on this Friday morning. Regards, Paul W. Smith. 